Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Capital City Sports Network, where tonight, from the Plex in Irmo, South Carolina, for the second night in a row, the American College Hockey Association proudly presents the South Carolina Gamecocks and the Kennesaw State Owls. Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Dylan Clark. Tonight, I'm with Zach McKinstry once again. Second leg of a back-to-back, -back, the Gamecocks falling 5-1 in last night's matchup. First period was okay, second two not so great, and uh, the, the wind really fell out of the sails of the Gamecocks late last night. Yeah, last night we saw the Gamecocks start the second period, or start the first period pretty slow and pick it up later in the first period, and then the rest of the game really couldn't get anything going. So in this one, we're, the Gamecocks are going to want to start hot and try and keep that momentum throughout the game. Goaltender for Kennesaw State will be, again, Luke Thurston, 26 saves on 27 shots last night. Thurston is actually the only goaltender who traveled with the team. Uh, the other goaltender unable to make it due to uh, previous engagements. And tonight for the Gamecocks, it will be Zach Lynch yet again. Lynch stood on his head for large portions of the game last night and really held the Gamecocks in it for as long as he could. Yeah, he, uh, he had a great first period to keep this game 1-1. A lot of big saves there early on. Um, Thurston, Thurston has been incredible. 26 saves and then the five shutouts throughout this season. He's going to be looking for a six tonight. Um, but Lynch is going to need to step up this game and, and control the rebounds if Gamecocks need a chance tonight. We talked to Alan Sirwa before the game. Uh, the one turning point that he noted was that five on three right at the end of the first period, I believe, or early second period, that the Gamecocks did not convert on. He was certainly not pleased with the way that power play performed. And that was really the, the, the switch flipped there in a, in a negative sense. And that's where the Gamecocks really sort of fell apart. So special teams will be huge here tonight. More, more of an emphasis on those special teams than uh, there usually would be. Other notable uh, added or minuses from the Gamecocks tonight. Bobby Van Dusen and Ben Smith will not be with the team. That's a lot of goals that are out of the lineup tonight. Yeah, and two big leaders in this team in uh, Bobby Van Dusen uh, and, and uh, the other one. Just uh, <laughs> two great, great players for this Gamecocks team, and uh, they're going to have to, they're going to struggle playing without them tonight. Van Dusen and Smith, both with prior engagements for work. And uh, so as we get ready for this game, some players to watch. Jake Tenji will be on the line with Cam Mecca. And on that right wing, instead of Bobby Van Dusen, will be Dave Murray. We're going to keep an eye on Murray throughout this night. He's going to be looking to, he's going to be that energy guy that the Gamecocks look to so often. And also, Alan Surwa said uh, that the, the line pairings are going to be switched up a little bit, especially on the back end. He's going to have defensemen hopping up and playing forward at some points. A lot of rotation, a lot of flipping and flopping as far as the lineups are concerned. Alan Sirwa didn't really have a plan for that. He's just going to see what feels good going into the game and, and see what works out best as the game progresses. That's all we've got for you here on this pregame show. We're going to send you to a break, and when we come back, it will be the first period here. South Carolina against Kennesaw State on the Capital City Sports Network, presented by SGTV.
You are watching the Capital City Sports Network on SGTV. All right, welcome back to the Capital City Sports Network. We are just about underway here in Irmo. Zach Lynch and Luke Thunstrom, the goaltenders here. Kennesaw State and South Carolina Gamecocks, part two. Saturday Night Hockey here in Irma. Glad you could be with us, ladies and gentlemen. Back the other way, Haas bringing in for Kennesaw on a shot just wide. Getting things started early here. The tempo picking up not exactly where it left off. It's much higher than it was last night. Back around, Haas to get it for Kennesaw. Bodied there by Brian Soar. Duncan Hickman brings it in. Hickman and Soar. Actually, Brian Soar up on the wing to start out here. Soar. A uh, winger when he came here to South Carolina so many years ago. The uh, surplus of defensemen being dressed tonight will result in a few of them playing up on the wing. Back now, Duncan Hickman throws one far side. Picked up there, Nick Peters. Mecca and now on for Dave Murray. Murray brings one on goals, tries to stuff one. And a save made there. Luke Thurston gets his first and second save of the night. Just about uh, 19.07 to go here in period number one. Quick start offensively for both of these teams. For Kennesaw State, Flow God Haas out there with a quick shot 10 seconds in, and South Carolina with an offensive chance, something we didn't see early in the first period yesterday, Dylan. Held in at the blue line, then kicked out back towards neutral territory. Jake Tenge is going to throw this one back in. No icing called. In behind the goal, Kennesaw takes over. A big hit there. Knocked off a possession there, and a delayed penalty here. Going to wait for the Gamecocks to touch up. Thurston will vacate his net eventually. And now that delayed penalty call, it's going to be a hooking call. A minor penalty to South Carolina and the power play for Kennesaw State will be brought out. Less than two minutes in, less than a minute and a half in. And Gamecocks already down a man. And we talked about the discipline. Uh, a bit of a mental lapse there right off the bat here for South Carolina. Not, not, even, not even a minor penalty. Uh, the official signaled for a hook. And they got penalty on the board there, Dylan, but right. uh, five on five. Nobody's in the box. Back now. At the point, it's Peter. Shoots one off a few skates. It's Kennesaw. Kennesaw's actually shorthanded right now. My mistake. I, the, the way it looked like somebody for South Carolina touched it up. That's our mistake. The Gamecocks actually on the power play right now. Back out for Nick Peters. They go D to D. Brian Soar shoots one. Tipped in front and just over the goal. Ends up in the netting and resting perfectly there on top of the glass. 14 for a hooking call. Justin Berzinski, he's actually rostered as a 14 or five. He's wearing five tonight. But uh, again, that roster confusion early on. Berzinski in the box for a hook for Kennesaw State. Well, on the other end, South Carolina's penalty is something that uh, their, their power play was uh, under efficient yesterday. Uh, they had that five on three chance that we were talking about in our post game yet last night. and. Uh, and that really set the set the tone for the rest of the game, not uh, not scoring there. Ricochet ends up in front of the net. The Owls throw this one back down the ice past the official's leg. Minute 20 to go on the power play for the Gamecocks. Zach Lynch going to leave that one for his defender. Haas comes in the lone forward checker. Gamecocks outlay that one through center ice. Hawkins is going to pick it up as far as the red line. Gaining the zone. Cross ice pass picked up there by Murray. Murray at the far faceoff circle. Centering pass. Hawkins has got it in front of the goal. A turning shot he fanned on it. Comes loose to Peters in that faceoff dot. Peters on the back end, now it's Murray. Long shot tipped in front, about that at the hash marks. Now Dave Murray keeps it just past that blue line. Murray brings it in now, Gamecocks back on sides. Murray looking, has Peters, and Peters fans on it, but he puts Haas on the ice. A big hit there by Nick Peters, and back the other way. Two on one, back to back on a backdoor pass there, almost connected, the Gamecocks finally touch it up here. And this one will be a penalty. Peters gonna head to the box. Two for interference. We'll play four on four for 38 seconds with 17, 23 to go in the first. Yeah, a big chance for Kennesaw State right there on the uh, delayed penalty, a two on one. And uh, couldn't quite get the stick completely on it, went wide of the net. And Gamecocks, sigh relief right there. Nick Peters misplayed that puck right there at the blue line, did the next best thing he could, put a shoulder into the man trying to get the puck. Uh, denied the opportunity, but. Uh, also denied the Gamecocks the rest of their power play. Back the other way, Luke Rudman racing down that right side. He's got a man breaking towards the net, Centracchio. Broken up at that center point. Back the other way, the Owls with speed. Going to be Jeremy Vander Kirkov. We had the pronunciation a little wonky last night. Now a shot turning in front. Knocked down. Vander Kirkov wearing number nine tonight for Kennesaw State. Fine folks there, courteous enough to uh, let us know 
how that pronunciation works. Vander Kirk of long shot tipped in front. Lynch has it. Now he has it. Everybody in the building thought he had that puck except for the official who saw that puck land right there to the left pad of Zach Lynch. And five to go on that four on four. Another whistle. Another defensive zone faceoff. And we've seen more defensemen hopping up on four. We saw Dominic Centracchio on the wing with Luke Rudman. Rudman heads to the bench now. It's going to be Pizzo Centracchio. And is Avery Pruden going to take this faceoff? No. Jake Tenji's going to take the faceoff. Tenji in the corner now. Four on four expired. Extra man on. Vander Kirkov at that center point. Goes far side. Now works it back down low to the goal line. Back out now. Justin Berzinski. Vander Kirkov curls back out towards the blue line. Sends this one off the boards. Back down low for McDonald. McDonald with a minute left to go on the power play. Has Deer cutting towards the net. Back to the point. Berzinski a shot. He scores. Point blast from Justin Berzinski. And the Owls take a 1-0 lead here. It's a power play goal with 16.22 to go in period one. Yeah, it didn't look like Lynch saw that one. But uh, that one thing we talked about before the game is that first goal is so critical. South Carolina has struggled this season playing from behind. And last night we saw Kennesaw State, when they got the lead, they did not give it up. And they, uh, they finished that one strong. So it's going to be tough for South Carolina to come back. I know there's a lot of games, a lot of the game left, but, uh, but down in the hole 1-0 right now is not ideal. Gamecocks not only struggle to get that first goal, the Gamecocks have struggled here in Irmo. 5-0 on the road, just 3-4 and four at home, and back the other way now, Ronan Egan trying to get the equalizer, shoots one, and a save made there by Thurston, and crashing into the net there is Rudman, and that'll draw a crowd here. And it is important to note, Luke Thurston, the only goaltender that Kennesaw State brought with them, if he is hurt, and he is unhappy right now, should Thurston be hurt, Kennesaw State would be without a goaltender. And that is, that is critical to make sure that Thurston is safe and in good health here. Critical for the team, as well as the continuation of this game. We'll see, Rudman just blasted in there. Couldn't get a, he couldn't get a grip on the ice. He, he couldn't stop and just bowls Thurston right over. Yeah, it looked like Rudman was playing a little aggressive there and lost touch with skates and uh, went flying into Thurston there. But it uh, looks like everybody's okay and we're going to have a face off. Rudman escapes without a penalty. The officials talking it over with the goaltender Thurston as well as the uh, Kennesaw coach, Joel Consowitz. Head coach of the Owls, assistant coach of tonight, Brett Lester and Jordan Cruz on that Kennesaw State bench. Some impatience tonight from the fans here waiting to sort this one out. Go ahead and take you through the uh, coaching staff of the Gamecocks. Alan Serwa is your head coach, equipment manager, Alan Gordon, and Steve Brochu, the uh, uh, assistant coach, not an alternate coach for South Carolina. Coach Steve also coaches a uh, high school team in Greenville. Uh, I believe right now the top-ranked team in all of high school hockey in South Carolina. He's telling us a little bit about that game before tonight's contest started up. Duncan Hickman now on the back end for South Carolina. Loosen the Gamecocks slot area. Now Ronan Egan going to have this one dropped off for Blake Drummond. He carries this one on through center. Blake Drummond throws this one in on Thurston. He's going to stop that one. And Egan right in front of the net again. Gets a cross check there from Drew Spazinski. Egan gave Thurston that uh, little snow shower there. And that's... Two plays in a row where Egan has been right in Kennesaw State's kitchen. And you know what, playing from behind, you've watched last night's game. If you want to get momentum for your team, that's the way to do it. Maybe not crashing into the goaltender, but being right in their faces all game long. You can't fault, uh, you can't fault Rudman for that one. You, can't tell, you can tell early on the South Carolina team wants this game bad. Coming off a pretty embarrassing loss last night, 5-1, and, uh, and they want this one bad. And, can't fault Rudman for getting in guys' faces, just like you can't fault Drew Spazinski when that upsets him and trying to protect his goaltender. In South Carolina territory, they'll break it out. That puck popped off a few sticks, and the Gamecocks have it now. Three on three. They'll bring it back out wide. Matt Owen tries to see this one down below the uh, at least the top of the circles, and he can't do it. Kennesaw State out with it now. Loose puck dribbles just over that Kennesaw State blue line, up off the glass. Tyler Oakley. Avery Pruden was a scratch last night. He's in this game now. They'll bring it back in. South Carolina territory. Delayed icing is called. And this faceoff will come all the way back down. And apparently, from our inside sources down at ice level, 
There's a lot of conversation going on in between the benches right now. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't hear that from up here because I can't even hear it from up here. But uh, again, as we said, you saw these guys 24 hours ago. And I don't care how short your memory is. You're not going to forget some of the things that happened last night. Gamecock's certainly not happy. He's a point shot from Duncan Hickman. Gets knocked down in the slot. Trickles on to the near side. After it, Nick Pizzo. On it, Aaron Barnett for the Owls. Loose now it comes. Pizzo's got it. Tries to center one for Powderly. Powderly curls back. It's Peters at the slot. Peters a shot and a nice blocker save there by Thurston. Knocked down. Peters gets it back though. He walks and shoots that one off a leg and a few sticks. Another long shot. Ends up in that slot area. But Kennesaw able to move it out as far as Duncan Hickman. Hickman slaps this one back down low. It's Pizzo. Now Hawkinson with Powderly in the slot. Powderly shoots one and he missed by a mile and a half. Back down to the slot there. It's Peters with tempo and speed. Gamecock down in front of the net. Long shot ends up in the boards. Delayed penalty. It's against Kennesaw State. Powderly walks the blue line. Goaltender off now for South Carolina. Extra attacker on. It's going to be Cameron Mecca. Underneath the Gamecocks in rotation. Hickman's got it. Tries to center one. It's touched finally by the Owls. The delayed call looks like it's going to be a trip here. Gamecocks will go to the power play with 14 12 to go in the first period. Big opportunity to knot this one up. Josh Berzinski will head to the box. And the more I look at this, I believe, again, we've seen players with multiple numbers. We've seen players with multiple spellings on the same roster. I believe Justin Berzinski and Josh Berzinski actually brothers on the Kennesaw State official roster on their website. There's only one Berzinski on the ACHA website. There are two. A long point shot there. First power play opportunity for Dave Murray. Working the point there. Haas going to be the four checker on the penalty kill for Kennesaw. Murray moves this one around. A nice little bump pass right there. And dangerous territory. The Gamecocks trying to get creative, but it almost cost him. Out in neutral ice, though. They bring it on. Cameron Mecca curls over. Tries to bring it out in front. And that one knocked off a stick there. And another call here. And a faceoff will be called. The net has been dislodged. It'll be an offensive zone chance for the Gamecocks once we drop the puck with 13.46 to go in the period. Yeah, one thing the Gamecocks want to focus on before the SEC tournament is converting on their power play chances. And uh, something they haven't really done well. The puck has stayed in the offensive zone so far, and they're trying to get a chance on net. Kicked out there by Thurston was the long shot by Brian Soar. Held in at the point by Dave Murray. Great hustle there by Murray. Moving it back down low. Underneath the goal line with Jake Tenji and Cam Mecca in front. Soar sees that puck come to him off the boards. Brian Soar hesitates and then sends one that goes off a... Shin guard there, and Haas trying to spring a man there. Looking for that breakaway pass, John Testino. More players go down. Gamecocks having trouble controlling this one. It's sent back in, and reinforcements arrive from the bench. A minute to go on the penalty. Brian Soar connects an open ice there. Brought back Vander Kirkhoff breaking up this chance for the Gamecocks. And now it's Hawkinson out wide. Shoots one on a save made by Thurston. Puck pops all the way back in the air. Peter shoots one just wide of the goal. Sprawled out is Thurston. Peter's in after it. It's now Ian Powderly, and now more as Thurston lost his helmet. Thurston taking just as much contact as any of the forwards or defensemen out here tonight for Kennesaw State. He lost his bucket. We get another stoppage in play. 45 to go on the power play. Great play there by number three, Hawkinson, working his way down low in the offensive zone. Great stick handling to set up a chance. And a shot just goes wide of the net. And now a face off. Vander Kirkhoff doing an excellent job coming back on the back check. Disrupting the Gamecock power play as it materializes in that neutral zone. And again, they dump it all the way back out. This will kill 10, 15, maybe even 20 more seconds off this Gamecock power play. Vander Kirkhoff faces off against Hickman. Hickman goes out to the left end. Maybe not. Back out now, right side of his net. 30 seconds to go on the power play. Hickman brings it up. Throws one airborne. Kicked into the zone by Ian Powderly. He's going to go get it himself. They lay this one on back. Luke Rudman. In on the fourth second again, Kennesaw State sees this one go all the way down the length of the ice. 17 to go, the Gamecocks will see this power play tick all the way down. And this puck is stable gun to the far side boards. That'll do it. Vander Kirkhoff skates back to the safety of the neutral zone, lays this one back in, and Hickman kicks that one out. Penalty time has expired. Even strength now. Out to the far side, Gamecocks bring it back. Matt Owen into the slot now. Rudman can't get a shot off. Hickman hesitates, now it's going to be a chance the other way, it's going to be McDonald. McDonald tries to lower the shoulder on Hickman, McDonald the back end, a shot just over the net, a big save there. I think Zach Lynch got a shoulder on that one. Huge stop there by Lynch to keep this game at 1-0. South Carolina breaks it back out the other way. 
It'll be Powderly in over the line. Powderly loses that one, gets sent down, and he's put on his wallet. Powderly leading the team in goals, and now a chance in front there. Gamecocks looking to even this game up. Ian Powderly, nine goals and six assists for 15 points this season. Powderly tied for the team lead with Cam Mecca in goals. And now Deer gets a knee on knee hit there. Yeah, that'll be a penalty. Dangerous play there. Evan Deer and Evan Hoey coming together. The knee on knee hit. That'll see Hoey in the box for a two minute stint. And that penalty box swings open once more for South Carolina before we even hit the 10 minute mark here in this first period. And not surprising to see in the second leg of a back to back. And on that shift there, a big. Big save by Zach Lynch. McDonald turned on the boosters at the end of that uh, last power play and uh, got around Hickman, set up a shot down low, and spinning save by Lynch. On to the power play now. Gagne watching from the point there. That shot tipped in front. They'll try to bring this one back around. Underneath it works back out. Heavy pressure there sustained by the Gamecocks. Testino brings it out, tries to center pass one, and Pizzo gets knocked off his stick. And now Brian Soar is going to have to fight it. Spazinski, a turning shot, save made, rebound in the slot. Another save there by Zach Lynch. Keeping the pads down, Lynch makes two big stops. Gagne, now Tisdale at center ice. Aaron Tisdale's offsides. He had a goal last night, looking for another one. He also had two penalty minutes, bringing him to 59 on the season. And with that face off, that'll bring fresh troops on for both squads. Power play men now. Evan Deer out for Kennesaw State on the back end will be Jeremy Vanderkirkov and not Gagne. Justin, Justin Berezinski on the point there. Gagne, you talked to some of the Gamecock plays, it seemed like Gagne was out there for every shift last night. Be surprised if that wasn't the case tonight. Wheeling now around. Vanderkirkov going back out and out of the point now. Just in front of that blue line. Vanderkirkov wants that puck back. He's got it on the near side. Shoots one, scores! Jeremy Vanderkirkov. Has Kennesaw State out to a 2-0 lead here. It's a power play goal with 10.32 to go in the first. You know, once again, I don't think Lynch saw that one. A lot of bodies out in front, and that puck seemed to, seemed to have some eyes find its way to the back of the net. And early on, this Kennesaw State team takes a 2-0 lead. Two goals on the power play for Kennesaw State, and uh, the numbers don't lie. Do not take penalties against these Owls. The proof is in the uh, two power play goals that sit up there on the boards, on the board. Tisdale in after it again. Pressure by Kennesaw. Two goals, not enough for them. Nick Pizzo's bringing it out for South Carolina. They're gonna try to get something going here. Still a lot of time, another collision there, some knees colliding. Corey Hawkinson brought back and he sent down to the ice there by Haas. Had to stick around the midsection there, but play goes on. In the defensive zone, Owls bring this one back out. Brought up by Aaron Tisdale. Tisdale gonna wrap this one in off the glass, and Tisdale sent down hard there at open ice behind the play. Point blast hits off Corey Hawkinson. Haas down low, rotates now for Barnett. Barnett along the near side, watched there by Nick Pizzo. Pizzo lost his stick, has it slashed out of his hands there by Barnett, and more guys go down, and now Hawkinson, a melee in the corner. Play goes on, Hawkinson on top of the guy. Play is now whistled down, Hawkinson and Tisdale going after it. That play went on for a good while while Hawkinson and Tisdale were wrapped up in the corner. Tisdale's gonna be sent off. I expect Corey Hawkinson will go serve a penalty or two. With 9.43 to go, we'll get a chance to sit here and wait while these penalties are sorted out. Tisdale has a few words for the Gamecock bench. And more, more penalties. I believe we'll skate four on four. I'm gonna put my money on four on four right now. Yeah, Gamecock got yard sale in that near near corner there and uh, led to a, a scrum there in the corner. The refs didn't see, play went on. A couple sticks on the ice and uh, we're gonna skate four on four here. At one point I counted at least three sticks, maybe a glove or two on the ice. Nick Pizzo had that thing whacked right out of his hands and we're clearing some debris off the playing surface here. The official just tosses that one over the glass. Nice piece of plastic for a fan. We've got two penalties up on the board. They will offset. We'll see who the personnel will be for South Carolina. Duncan Hickman tries to sort things out with the official. They will go with Duncan Hickman, Dave Murray, Cam Mecca, and Nick Peters for South Carolina. Kennesaw State 
in town for the extended stay as they get their personnel set out here. Luke Thurston, we had a chance to talk to him before the game. His career path, how he got here, played a year D1 club with West Virginia University, University of West Virginia. Back out now, point shot over the net. Gotta think that D1 experience has helped Thurston. Now a centering pass, a shot off the outside of the cage. Big chance there, Berezinski. Kennesaw gonna rotate here. Hard on that puck there is Dave Murray and Nick Peters. Murray still after it. They work it back out to the point. Berzinski again. Near side McDonald. Got to play that one off the boards. Working it down low. Vander Kirkhoff takes a hardy body check there. He's still got the puck. Around the circle. Shoots one off the outside of the cage there. Good stick work there by Dave Murray. See what kind of handicap that hit there. And Peters goes down. McDonald after him. Gamecocks won a penalty. Berzinski down low. More guys. Vander Kirkup getting after it with Murray. Here. And we've got punches being thrown. Cam Mecca swinging away at Vander Kirkup. Now we've got pandemonium at the plex here. And we're not even halfway through the first period. Punches being thrown. We're going to have guys tossed at some point, if not right now. And a beeline to the penalty box for Cam Mecca. He's going to join teammate Corey Hawkinson. And now is not the time to take these kind of penalties for South Carolina. You're down 2 0 in the game. And you're trying to get everyone healthy and together for SEC tournament play. And if you get guys suspended, if you get guys injured, you're not doing yourself any favors. Either team at this point, you're not doing yourself any favors. The emotions are out of control right now. And it, as entertaining as it is to watch, it, you're not doing yourself any favors at this point. Not the smartest play there, but you know, you know, Dylan, when you're in that game and tensions start boiling over, it's it's a reflex. These guys obviously do not like each other. A lot of a lot of aggressiveness early early on here, and uh, and I think we're going to see that throughout the rest of the game. We knew carryover from last night's game would be a factor, but I did not think that uh, the first period of this game would essentially be period number four from last night's game. These guys picking up right where they left off. Gagne and Tenji will sort things out. Zach Lynch having a conversation with Tyler Oakley. And Luke Thurston just going to chill down there to our right as we sort this thing out. While we have a moment, we have, we've had the rankings now for the SEC tournament for a while. We told you, uh, I'm tired of hearing myself say it. I've said it so often. Gamecocks will play number six ranked Auburn in the first round. But the other matchups that will interest you to know. Ole Miss takes the number two seed. They will play at number seven, Vanderbilt. That'll be on the Gamecocks side of the bracket. So whoever gets out of that USC-Auburn game will play the winner of Ole Miss and Vanderbilt. On the other side of things, Georgia taking that number one seed in the tournament. They will face off against number eight, Tennessee. And number four, Arkansas will play number five, Florida. Arkansas, the tournament winner last year, Arkansas has won it, I believe, the most out of anyone. They've got it, at least they've got their name on that brand new trophy at least five or six times. And Georgia's going to be Georgia and Arkansas will probably be the teams to beat. Uh, fortunately for the Gamecocks, should they make it as far as the final, since those two teams are on the other side of the bracket, they only have to play one of them. Yeah, Ice Dogs are the top dog in SEC play so far this year. And uh, I know after our game earlier this year, South Carolina played Georgia, and uh, Took another loss, but um, they, they definitely want to get back out there and, and see the Ice Dogs later in this championship game. The focus shifts back now to this game at hand. Kennesaw State 8-3, 1-1. One, the first one being a tie. The second one, the overtime loss. And on the road, 5-4-2, they improved. Two ties, that is, those are. 5-4-2 on the road if you include last night's win. So this team struggles on the road with the exception of last night and for the first period tonight. And the Gamecocks struggle at home. So two clubs of guys battling through adversity and more checks, more slashes in the back of the head, more penalties. And Deer's going to be booked for a trip here. He gets in the face of Tyler Oakley. And we are all ready. That, that penalty box is getting pretty full, Dylan. We're, we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need expansion penalty boxes here. We might have to have some guys come up here and sit with us. I'm sure that would be fun. Imagine, guys get sent off for a tripping or a fighting or a cross-check to the face. Send them up here to the broadcast booth. I'm sure they'd love to talk to us. Yeah. Best time to interview a player is when they're upset, right? Don't... When they've just been punched in the face. The energy and emotions are raw. 
And now we will go four on three here with 8.52 to go in the first period. Yes, that is right. It is the first period, not the fourth period of last night's game. I got to keep reminding myself of that. Ronan Egan off the face off here. Kennesaw State's going to risk this one all the way back and around. Gamecocks will have to come back into neutral territory to receive this one. It's going to be Tyler Oakley. Ryan Sork comes back. Oakley goes up on the wing now. Oakley drops for Powderly. Four on three power play. Powderly watches. Gives on to Soar. Soar, center point, got all kinds of time. Shoots one and a glove save there by Thurston. And Brian Soar had time to wind that puck up, but uh, Luke Thurston not phased by that opportunity there. He gets the glove on and a face off. Good job by Soar drawing the defender away with his eyes, looking for the pass. That defender has to try and cut it off, moves him out of the way. And a good shot, but a good save by Thurston. Patience by Soar after a night that did not go his way. Just last night. McDonald now after it for Oakley. Oakley with the puck. And now we'll have to see. I'm checking behind every play to see if anything's going on. Nothing this time. Ian Powderly over the line. Gets muscled off the puck there by Gagne. Into Gamecock territory. Zach Lynch is going to play it out now. 25 to go on the four on three. Soar off the dasher. Up and ahead for Ian Powderly with Ronan Egan filling in the slot. Powderly taking the task down low. Underneath they go. Ronan Egan helps him out. Soar at the point, walks the line, blasts one, tipped in front, it never got to the net. Knocked down right in front of those hash marks. Back the other way will be Gagne, watched by Soar. Gagne carries it, tries to go through Soar's legs, and now three players go into the net here. It's gonna be Gagne and Oakley trying to wrap him up behind the play. Another whistle, another penalty, and we just got out of four on three. Might, we might go back. Oakley and Gagne right in front of the Gamecock net. Another slip in front of a goalie, Dylan. That's about the third or fourth time we've seen that this weekend. And uh, tensions are certainly boiling over as the refs escort these two to the penalty box. Uh, the, the question on my mind right now is where do you go from here? If things are getting this out of hand now, what's this game going to look like in the second period? I mean, maybe things will settle down, but uh, there's a lot of hockey to be played between now and then. It is becoming more and more evident as to why this team has so many players with 50, 60, 70 penalty minutes. Brian Soar, I don't believe, we'll have to take a look, the, uh, the game sheet, the, the score, the box score from last night uh, has not been posted on the website yet. We don't know the exact penalty outcomes for South Carolina. We don't know if Brian Soar got any, hasn't gotten any so far tonight. Two Gamecocks in the box now and three Owls just a few feet away from them. We will skate four against five. Gamecocks with the man advantage here for 40 seconds. More and more opportunities present themselves for South Carolina. A chance to get back in the game. And now Nick Peters has it taken away from him. More contact, Testino goes down. Peters, far side now. Down that right wing, Luke Rudman. Rodman swivels in a centering pass intended for Nick Peters. Goes in between his skate and his sticks. Skates and his stick. And Duncan Hickman's going to go behind his own goal. Haas watches him. Hickman's going to see the final few seconds tick off his power play. Just under seven to go, period number one. Hickman takes a hit there. Brought in now by Luke Rodman. Hickman at the point, can't keep it in. And now Rodman's going to have to restart it. Out through center ice. Back the opposite direction come the Owls. Collision for the Gamecock bench and Rudman gets tripped down. Play continues. Peters goes after Haas in the corner. Now Bright holds this one in. Back and around for Duncan Hickman. I got to think, at this point, the players are more focused on each other than the puck. And at that point, that, that, it, it's wide open. It's anybody's game. If you can be the team that uh, controls yourself and focuses on playing your game, you're going to win. Nick Peters risks this one back in. And Matt Owens gonna get it for the Gamecocks. Owls bring this one out as far as center ice. It's gonna be McDonald. McDonald brings it out to that far side, drops into the slot, a shot there and a save made. Bright robbed by the left pad of Zach Lynch. Underneath McDonald again, watched by Evan Hoey. Hoey goes down. Evan Hoey back now to his feet, plays this one past to take a Pizzo. Point shot, save made, rebound, loose puck, pops out into the slot. Pizzo, Bright slow to his feet, now he's back on it. Pizzo sees this one out as far as center. Now Powderly, one-on-one -on -one chance for Ian Powderly. Tries to go to the one hand. Powderly loses that puck, it goes into the corner. 
And number seven for South Carolina still in after it. Loose puck gets past Drummond. Going to be the opposite direction chance for Drew Spazinski. Spazinski the shot and Zach Lynch takes that one right on that C on his chest. Gets a little swat at Spazinski and as he skates by. 5.30 to go, a 2-0 hockey game. The Gamecocks trail by a pair. South Carolina get a break from the linesman there. That's Spazinski on that... Uh on that rush, moving up up the wing and slow down a little bit, running into the linesman and uh, Lynch with a good save. Off the tie-up, it comes free. The Gamecocks wrist it was one back around. And more collisions. Four players get in after it. Dylan Jacob wrists this one back out. Gagne regroups. Gagne off a of skate now. Now it's going to be Siegfried. Siegfried a chance in front, bumped off the puck by Gagne. Brilliant defensive work there. Gagne got about at least half a foot there on uh, Alex Siegfried. In that corner, the Owls work it out. Back out now, Drummond shovels this one back in. And Drummond gets bumped off. Back the other direction, Justin Berzinski. In the slot, it's shoots a big save there by Lynch. Loose puck, cleared out of the paint. James Barrett, a huge opportunity there for Kennesaw State. And Zach Lynch slams the door. Lynch, we said he'd have to come up big tonight and he has delivered. Puck bounces off a stanchion. Blake Drummond out, and Gamecocks almost guilty of a too many men penalty. Comes all the way back down. They'll take the icing. And apparently not. Icing waved off. Kennesaw through center. Drummond throws it over now to the stripe, painted there on the boards. Back it around. It's going to be Evan Hoey. Going to face pressure from Deer. Hoey and Deer had that uh, knee on knee collision. We'll be watching those two for the remainder of this game. Four minutes to go. In the corner, it will be Blake Drummond. Drummond around, they get it all the way out. Center ice regroup for Kennesaw State. Off the boards. Hoey now, watched by Deer. Hoey goes to the air, all the way down. And this one will certainly go for an icing here. And a face-off in Gamecock territory with 3.52. 3.54 to go in the first period. Lynch with a big save up there recently, but that was set up by a beautiful drop pass by Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State has done a really good job of moving the puck around in the offensive zone, and on that odd man rush, boy, that was a great drop pass to leave a one-on-one -on -one with a goalie and, and a good save by Lynch. Owls will have another offensive drop here. And below the goal line, they'll try to work it back out. A turning shot, and it goes in! Testino put that one in off the goaltender. It's three nothing Owls. With still a considerable amount of time left in this hockey game. It looks like Lynch didn't seal up that near post. And that one went off his right pad and in off himself. Uh, yeah, unfortunate break for the Gamecocks. And 3-0 and down in the first period is certainly not where you want to be, Dylan. Flashes of brilliance throughout this first period, but uh, any momentum they would have had seemingly snuffed out in an instant there as that puck bounced in off the blocker. And right pad of Zach Lynch. We'll wait for the trainer to make her way to the bench. Getting the lone assist on that one, Jeremy Vanderkirkov. Vanderkirkov, his 17th assist on the year. John Testino, a goal last night. He's got another one tonight. That'll bring him to 11 on the season. As this play worked out of the corner now, Ronan Egan in after it for South Carolina. Sizable deficit and a backhand chance right around in front, still loose. Thurston can't get to it now. Another shot by Powerly. Pops over and gets swatted out there. More players go down. Mega can't get a handle on it. Momentum by Centracchio. A shot save made by Thurston. Sees through an absolute ocean of players. And Luke Thurston keeps his eye on the puck and gets another stoppage here. Great play there by Thurston to keep track of that puck. Yeah, ton of bodies out in front of the crease right there. Didn't look like Thurston had seen it and poked around and Tons of different ways out there in front, and uh, a long shot, good save by Thurston, and this game remains 3-0. Ronan Egan, and a shot off the draw there, ends up cornerward. Cam Mecca to get it out, pops out in front. Egan can't quite get to it. Gagne, as we said, on there so often. On the back end again right now for Kennesaw State. Avery Pruden sees this one come to the near side. It's Cam Mecca. Mecca off the boards. Powderly gets to the top of the circle, pulls up, shoots one off a leg there. Into the corner, retrieved by Ronan Egan, slapped off the boards there. Underneath they work it. Rudman wants that one in the slot, a big chance there. Avery Pruden almost getting the Gamecocks first of the night. 
He's going to come back all the way prudent again. We see so often these Gamecock defensemen getting in on the offense at one end and coming back making big defensive plays at the other end. Great hustle there by Pruden to get back. Gamecock's working out as far as center. Tisdale's got it there. Going to have to work it away from Nick Pizzo. Comes back to the point. Defenseman there for Kennesaw State. Dave Murray for South Carolina. And they will get things together here as we approach the two-minute warning in the first period. Kennesaw up 3-0. Picking up right where they left off last night. Ryan Soar up and ahead, redirected in there by Pizzo. Hawkinson after it. Got some speed in his step around Dave Murray with Hawkinson there. It comes back out to the point. Hickman trying to keep this one in. Battled at there. And now brought the other direction by Deer. Deer around a turning backhander there, and the net is off. Zach Lynch got a little anxious there, trying to make sure that puck did not go in between his leg and the goalpost, so he just moved the goalpost over. 146 to go here in the period. Lynch with a little flashback there of the last goal. Didn't want to risk having one go near side on him again, so might as well just knock the post off. When a goal like that gets past you, it kind of rewires your brain, and uh, you, you think twice about any save you make, any routine stop, as that was. You, you kind of think a little bit more about it. Hickman knocked down in front of the Gamecock net. And all the way back down, and Nick Pizzo's lost a glove here. He's lost something. Oh, it was uh, the glove lost by one of the Kennesaw players. All the way back down, Pizzo's got it. Mason Bright has his glove back. And now Dave Murray losing his footing there, trying to stay on sides. And Hickman will regroup for South Carolina. Shovels this one out on the back end. Kept in there. Hickman's got it again. Out at center ice, brought back by Ian Powderly. Takes a couple of whacks, gets knocked down. Loses the puck. Powderly dishing some whacks now himself. Spazinski out through center. Brian Soar backhands this one back in. Final minute of the first period. Off the boards. Kept in now by Jake Tenji. And this one bounces. Held in there at the point. Bringing this one in with some speed, Cam Mecca. Mecca underneath, wheels back out, shoots one. A turning shot there, knocked down in front. Mecca still digging after it. Loose comes back out now. Hickman shoots one, and that one knocked down. Loose and played out to the far boards. Hickman on the back end. Gamecox still sustaining pressure here until now. Duncan Hickman moves this one back over for Brian Soar. Penalty here. Tenji goes right for the box. Gamecox will be shorthanded here. 25.9 to go in the period. A power play for Kennesaw State, and if they do not score, this power play will carry over into period number two. Kennesaw State with two power play goals tonight. That third one being the only even strength goal scored. And Kennesaw State's defense has been superb so far tonight. Not letting anyone inside. Opting for those shots outside from the point but really clamping up the middle of the ice. That slot is not open. They're forcing South Carolina to take their shots from low percentage areas, and uh, it, it's paying off for them. Jake Tenzi officially booked with a cross check. He'll sit for two minutes. And an abbreviated power play here to end the period. Vander Kirkhoff moves this one back down low, pops off the stick of Deer. Deer watched there by Pizzo. Pizzo and Deer comes free now McDonald. McDonald drops it back for and a chance there off the block of there. McDonald and Deer teaming up. Back out, center point. Vander Kirk on the one-timer off the skate in the slot there. Another shot in a beautiful centering pass just past the stick of McDonald, and that'll do it for the first period. Owls unable to score on that power play. They'll still have a minute 35 of the man advantage to contend with when we come back in the second period. That'll do it for period number one. When we come back, we will have the first period recap here on the Capital City Sports Network presented by SGTV.
All right, welcome back to the Capital City Sports Network. We are here for the first intermission report. The Gamecocks trail Kennesaw State three to nothing, and these two teams really picking up right where they left off last night. Yeah, a lot of aggression, a lot of a lot of penalties. This is this is as many penalties in this first period I think as we saw all of yesterday. Um, a lot of aggression, but certainly not the period that South Carolina wanted to start this game. Penalties against being the uh, downfall of South Carolina early on in this hockey game. Two power play goals against that third one, just banking in awkwardly off the uh, the leg there of Zach Lynch. But uh, the first two, not really much Lynch could have done on those. Yeah, power play goals are rough. We've we've talked about the uh, discipline of South Carolina and how they've struggled to stay out of the box all season, and uh, that's come back to bite them here in this one with power play goals by Kennesaw State. We've seen three or four occurrences where we've had full-on brawls in the corners behind the play, uh, the, the play having to be whistled down because of uh, some jawing, some cross-checking behind the play. We spoke a little bit, and we've heard that the uh, the officials are going to start handing out uh, twos and tens, ten-minute misconduct penalties, and uh, hopefully that'll kind of control the uh, the tempo and control the emotions here of these players. But if that doesn't, I can see this getting even more out of hand. Yeah, certainly tensions are boiling over right now. Both of these teams do not like each other, and uh, and even when we went to when we went to intermission break, these two teams were yelling at each other on the ice, chirping back and forth, and uh, I think that's going to continue, Dylan. Again, as we uh, as we see all these fights and big hits being laid on, again the safety of the players at the forefront of the discussion. The officials want to make sure that they keep everybody safe. We've seen goaltenders being run, we've seen cross checks, we've seen hits from behind, and we understand that the uh, the tempo and the uh, emotions get out of hand, but. Yeah, you want to make sure that everybody stays safe and, and is able to go to class on Monday. Absolutely. Player safety is, is their main focus right now for the referees, I think, for the remainder of this game. And especially for the f future of the team with this tournament coming up. Big big chance for South Carolina having a good team this year, uh, making a lot of progress so far. And they don't want star players getting injured before the tournament. So, A lot of potential for the next few weeks for South Carolina. But they're going to focus on the next two periods. When we come back, it will be the second period in a 3-0 game here on the Capital City Sports Network presented by SGTV. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. Period number two underway here. Minute 35 on the power play for Kennesaw State. They had a bit of an opportunity there early, early on here to make it four Gamecocks trying to negate that and climb back into this game. Only the second period here. A lot of time for both teams to take this really any direction they want. In behind is the goaltender Thurston. Vander Kirkov streaking up through center ice. On sides they come. Out to the left wing. Now low for McDonald. Vander Kirkov, center point. Hesitates. Goes around to the defenseman. Now it's a chance for Pizzo. Pizzo back the other way, shorthanded. Dropping back is Berzinski. Pizzo shoots one all the way up into the roof here. And Pizzo a bit shaken up on the play. Some nice hustle in his step there. Chance for the Gamecocks, but uh, nothing doing there. Great play by Pizzo there. Just goes to show when you when you make good plays on defense, it leads to offensive opportunities and can really get your team going. A great spinning poke check right there. Gets the puck up ice for a chance and good defense on the other end with Kennesaw State there as well. Gutsy play by Pizzo to take that puck in the opposite direction on the penalty kill. Berzinski, this time Justin, lays this one back for Tristan Gagne. Gagne and McDonald, the alternate captains for Kennesaw State. Gagne pulls up below the goal line now. Nice move around the defenseman. Turns it over. Ronan Egan shovels this one all the way back down. Nice clear there by Ronan Egan. Back now. Held by the goaltender Thurston. Off the boards. Berzinski's got it. Watch closely there. They go D to D below the goal line. Under and around. Tisdale off a stick. Here comes Testino. And offsides called there. Somebody got knocked back as John Testino brings this one in. Face-off coming with 18.44 to go here in the second period. 19 seconds remain on the penalty to Gamecock captain Jake Tenji. Gamecock's doing a lot better on this penalty kill than they have. In the last couple, last period, they didn't do as well. Two power play goals for Kennesaw State. But good job keeping the puck out of their defensive zone and getting the puck up ice. In front of the Kennesaw State bench, Drummond goes down to a knee. More players along those far boards. Drummond reaching out with the poke check there. And now some contact. Kennesaw State still with it. Centering pass, Spazinski can't put, bring it there. Checked in off the skate of Gagne. Pass there, Luke Rudman skating away from it. Spazinski goes after it with Drummond. Drummond around now, Tyler Oakley. And that'll do it, Oakley goes down to his stomach there. Gamecocks kill the penalty, five on five once more. Around four Gamecocks on that one side of the ice. Kennesaw State a bit more spread out as more players pick themselves up off the ice and a thrown stick there. Tisdale throwing the stick at one of the Gamecocks behind the plate. Delayed penalty here. And another collision at center ice. The Owls touch this one up. It's Gagne touching it. Tisdale's going to go to the bench for what will most likely be interference or a delay of game. Not delay of game. Unsportsmanlike conduct, rather. Add, add another penalty to the tally, Dylan. No shortage of them here tonight. 17.55, less than, just about, less than three minutes played here in this game. And again, the penalty's not going anywhere. We will wait to see. I'm not, I, I don't know if it's us missing the uh, hand signals from the officials or if they're just doing them low and in tight to the body. But as we get this text here, Tisdale for an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, throwing the stick there. And the Gamecocks will have a chance here on the power play. That puck batted away from Rudman. All the way back down it goes. Ronan Egan on with Brian Soar. Captain Jake Tenji. Tenji testing out that knee, making sure it's still okay. Brought in now by Cam Mecca. Mecca with some speed and some authority, taking it below the goal line. Mecca looks out to the point. Brian Soar walks over for Peters. Nick Peters shot right on goal, almost tipped in front. Thurston makes another save. Keeps that goose egg on the board for South Carolina. Better puck movement for cock hockey right now. Mecca doing a great job bringing it around the back of the goal, setting up pass to the slot, or to the point rather, and, and a good shot there and a good save by Thurston. Brian Storm much, looking much more confident here tonight as opposed to last night's game. Risked that puck down with authority. Storm using a different stick last night. I think he's back to his regular stick tonight. He was putting uh, the, the extension. He's got a wood extension on top of that stick because he's too tall for the, uh, the stock sticks that come. Down low, the Gamecocks in great cycling here. Peters right in front of his bench. Sends it back down, top of the circle. The Gamecocks rotate. They got Chief down low, shooting one and a big save there. Thurston denies Brian Soar. 
a big sliding save and sore, frustrated, heads back to the bench. But the Gamecocks, their best look at a goal all night. Yeah, this puck movement in the offensive zone on this power play has been unreal for South Carolina. That was an incredible pass. Sore snuck in. Difficult for him to sneak in behind defenses with him being 6'7", so tall. And, uh, and a great shot <laughs> and a good save by Thurston. 57 seconds to go on the power play for South Carolina. That is about as well, almost as, the same as Alan Sirwa drew this power play up. The way they rotate, the way they move the penalty kills around. A tip right in front, Berzinski. Almost deflecting that in on his goaltender. He's going to apologize there. Luke Thurston shaking his head. Doing everything he can, but uh, when your defenseman almost tips it past you, that's a little unnerving. And Gamecocks getting better looks here. You, you'll notice fewer melees, fewer scrums, fewer punches to the head. Guys keeping their composure, and the offense has opened up here for South Carolina. Powderly back out. The Gamecocks working the overload. They're stacking guys on one side. There's a point shot blockered away by Thurston. Up the wall. Deer backhands this one past Hickman. Hickman pinched in. And now Tyler Oakley back for South Carolina. Oakley around the goal. Facing some danger here. Gamecocks come up with speed. They can make Kennesaw State pay for their pinch in. On sides, they bring it. Shot from the point in that slot area. Into the corner, it's Powderly. 16 to go on the penalty. Powderly looking in front. And now the net knocked off. Barely. Corey Hawkins is going to reset it himself, and the Gamecocks denied him another opportunity here. 12 to go on the penalty. They'll try one more time here. Momentum hinging quite literally on these next 12 seconds. The Gamecocks get a power play goal. They are right back in it. If they let another power play slip through their fingers, the hill they have to climb gets ever steeper. Centracchio lined up right on top of that circle. Going to look for the quick trigger pull there. They win it back. Back for Centracchio. Shoots one. That goes loose. And a chance there. Matt Owen on the hustle after the puck. Final four seconds. They risk this one around. And out of the box is Tisdale. Lynch stops it. Moves it to Pruden. Pruden sidesteps Tisdale there. Brings it out. On the breakout. Evan Hoey on the near side looking for that puck. Hoey playing offense now. Hoey. Corrals and turns that puck in behind the goal. Again, on the wraparound. McDonald's going to be a two-on-one here. McDonald and Vander Kirkhoff. Vander Kirkhoff shoots one and a save made by Lynch. He's got that rebound. Zach Lynch all the way out of the top of his blue paint, making himself as big as possible, denying Vander Kirkhoff of what would have been his second goal of the night. Yeah, two of the quickest players on this Kennesaw State team and Vander Kirkhoff and McDonald on that odd man rush. Moving up ice, two on one, and a good save by Lynch, keeping that one in and holding it down for a faceoff. Kennesaw, they'll drop the puck here, and someone still had a skate on the ice there. Nothing called there and brought back the other way. Luke Rudman, been all over the ice for South Carolina. Shakes past the check. It's going to be Rudman. Shoots one, and a big glove save there by Thurston. Another offensive chance for South Carolina. They're playing with more energy, Dylan but Thurston keeps shutting them down like this. I don't know how long that's gonna last. Luke Thurston feeling the confidence here. He's seen shot after shot. After the first period, the shots were 14 to 12 in favor of Kennesaw State. Gamecocks probably up in the uh, 15 or 20 shot range right now. Thurston has gobbled every one of those up. Off the draw, Rudman. Spazinski puts it over to the boards. They'll go back and they'll work it back more. Gagne, back now. Dylan Jacob after for South Carolina. Poke past the defenseman, it's gonna be a chance. Deer, away from Drummond, Deer goes down. Kennesaw State wants a trip, they won't get it. Ronan Egan, back now with pressure from Mitch Bright. Bright goes down, someone going low on a hit there. Now Rudman goes after it, puck popping there, no one can really get a handle on it, off the skate. Gamecock defenseman, pinching up, blue line, run over there by Spazinski. Dylan Jacob gotta pick himself up after that huge hit by Spazinski. In Owl territory, they have it now. The Gamecocks try to work it through. Cutting towards the slot, a pass in front. Jacob redirected in front, they can score! That's a goal, Luke Rudman redirects the, the Dylan Jacob shot home. The Gamecocks are on the board here. 14-28 to go in period number two. That definitely got him going, Dylan. They're excited and rightfully so after that one. Incredible puck movement this period. Coach Al must have said something in the locker room because these guys have been rearing to go this second period and 
good, good movement out in front of the crease and tapped in behind Thurston and on the board. Rudman creating the turnover and you reap what you sow. Rudman's been all over the ice in the offensive and defensive zone tonight for South Carolina. Great work there by Jacob to get it to the net, get that shot on goal. Force Thurston to drop down into the butterfly and make a save. And Rudman redirects that rebound home. Gamecocks are on the board, it's 3-1. Jake Tenji, now on for South Carolina. Cam Mecca, the energy guys are on now for the Gamecocks. Mecca, Pizzo, and Jake Tenji. Pizzo, as we said, filling in for Bobby Van Dusen. Around, Pizzo in hard after it. The senior for South Carolina. Puck comes down to Jake Tenji. Slaps this one up the boards for Peters. Peters lets one go in the slot knockdown. Tenji can't put that one home. Tenji keeps it in the slot though. Pizzo first to get it for South Carolina. Loose though. And kept in by the Gamecocks once more. Duncan Hickman decides not to engage at the point. Wrapped around and kept in by Peters. Peters walks down low. Someone got to fill in for his point slot. Moran lets this one go out towards center and Hickman fumbled that puck a little bit there. Aaron Barnett after it for Kennesaw State. He ends up in the glass. Haas puts it underneath. And now the Gamecocks break it back out. Stretch pass connects there. Powderly couldn't hang on to it. He gets it in below. 13 minutes to go here in the second period. It comes all the way back around. Mason Bright wraps this one through. Stop there. Kennesaw hey, facing heavy forechecking here from Ian Powderly. Forechecking which was not here in the first 20 minutes or even the first 10 minutes of this period. Taken down and now more. Vander Kirkov going after Ian Powderly after I believe Jake Tenji was tripped. More guys going after it here. Powderly has his cage ripped from its uh, anchors there. Jake Tenji getting after a guy. Jake Tenji for as uh, I believe Jake Tenji stands at 5'9". He's not afraid to mix it up. And he is especially not afraid to mix it up when he's on the bench. Because that was Dave Murray getting into that scrum. Jake Tenji's on the bench. Six, eight, it looks similar from up here. Looks like they're gonna send Powderly to the bench, or to the penalty box, rather, along with another instigator for Kennesaw State. On top of the penalty, we should have five on four, power play for South Carolina. Well, we get that sorted out. We've got the official scorers known here. Luke Rudman, as we said, gets the goal. Dylan Jacob getting the assist and the secondary assist going to Ronan Egan. That'll bring Egan to 4-4 four, four and 8 on the season. Luke Rudman, 7 goals, 3 assists for 8 points as well. Or 5 goals, 3 assists for 8 points as well. Got all kind of numbers that we've got up here trying to sort through. 12.55 to go in the second period. That goal by Rudman makes this one a hockey game. Two goal lead can go either way. Not a power play goal, as we said, but uh, the Gamecocks deciding not to let that uh, failed power play attempt mess with their heads. And more penalties go up on the board. We've only got one on the guest side right now. And unless they're going to put one up for Ian Power, I guess we've got offsetting minors on that uh, little scrum in the corner. And another one. Powderly in for a rough, as is Jeremy Vander Kirkov, and a trip to Mason Bright of Kennesaw State. That gives the Gamecocks another opportunity. Another power play to try and crawl back in this game and make it 3 to 2. Hawkinson tries to work it through, finally gets it back now to Brian Soar. Soar hesitates. Nice patience there. Gets it past Hawkinson down low. Hawkinson gets it back. A nice shot from a sharp angle goes off the outside of the cage. Hickman pinches down and gets beaten to the puck. All the way down. Lynch blockers that one and pushes it up ahead for Brian Soar. Soar through now off the skate. No icing as that puck was off the skate of Corey Hawkinson. Brought in now. Hickman can't get it. Now Testino gets away from Duncan Hickman. Testino over for Deer. That chance doesn't materialize. Testino sliding on the seat of his pants. And the Gamecocks will regroup here on this power play. They've got guys open at center ice. Chugging ahead now, Dave Murray. Murray on the backhand, below the goal line. He's got Brian Soar at the point. He looks for him. Murray drifting back out. Hash marks, goes back down low to Hawkinson. Hawkinson up now for Brian Soar. Soar for Hawkinson again. They rotate, shoot this one in a shot there off the leg of Ronan Egan. Egan in after it himself. Egan, back over for Murray. 
49 to go on the penalty. Dave Murray along the half wall, winds up and lets one go. Down low for Brian Soar. They had the opportunity. Soar just couldn't capitalize. And taken in hard Every to the hit. boards there, Corey Hawkinson. Now again, Murray in front of pass. Save made there by Thurston. And Murray frustrated with himself, but the Gamecocks getting more and more opportunities here as the power play continues. Not the first time a Gamecock shooter has been frustrated by Thurston. Great pass across the slot there, cross center ice. Murray doing a great job adjusting, trying to get the stick on that puck, but Thurston reco recovered and uh, good save by him. Luke Thurston so quick with his lateral movement. And now off the draw, it's going to come into the slot. A shot there, catches Ooh. someone up high. Jake Tenji got that one right in the mask. He'll shake it off and that one's stinging the hand of Tyler Oakley as he tries to hold that one in. Back to get it, Nick Peters, 21 to go on the power play. They'll move it up. Pizzo chips it in behind the defense. Pizzo in after it. He'll send this one around hard and Jake Tenji has that one off a glove. A nice move back off the boards to himself. Pizzo and now Tenji gets it back at the hash marks. Cross ice pass, it's Peters, shoots one, save but he scores! Nick Peters, it's a power play goal. The Gamecocks are back within one here in the second period. Looks like that one went five hole on Thurston and the Gamecocks are right back in this game. Might have hit, it definitely hit someone on the way there. Didn't know if it hit an owl or a Gamecock. It looked from here as though Nick Peters was the last man to touch that puck. And if there's if you're gonna score at all on Luke Thurston, you gotta get guys in front, you gotta get traffic. Because we've seen Brian Soar try to wait, get the clean shot. If Thurston can see that puck all the way through, he's gonna make the save. They get the deflection and the Gamecocks are back in it here. It's three to two. And Dylan, we have seen a seismic change on the power play of this Gamecock team in the first period to the second period. The power play has been so much better this period. The puck movement has been superb. And here they come again. Holding it in, a chance at a slot. On the back, and a save made by Thurston. And Thurston going after Rudman. He didn't like that poke after the whistle. And Rudman gonna take the hits here. He's got the goaltender and two players in after the stripes come in to help him. And Luke Rudman playing mind games now. Trying to get the better of the Owls here. Trying to be the instigator. It's not too often you see a goalie skate out of the crease to come after a player. You see a goaltender going after a forward like that immediately brings you back to 2008-2009, Sean Avery and Marty Brodeur. Sean Avery, one of the classic characters in the NHL. Martin Brodeur needs no introduction. Arguably one of the greatest goaltenders of all time. But uh, no one could get in Marty's grill like, uh, like Sean Avery could. And Luke Rudman trying to get in the head of Luke Thurston as much as he can. Ten and a half to go. The Gamecocks in after it, it's Siegfried. Siegfried around, McDonald picks up for the Owls. Tries to step around Rudman. Rudman in after it hard. Centracchio keeps it in. Down to one knee, and they'll get this puck all the way down. Centracchio's gonna regroup here at the red line. Throws it off the boards now. Held in. Kennesaw's gonna have to regroup and touch up. Gamecocks have it. Soar, waiting, flips this one back in. Icing waved off. The Owls touch this one up. They'll go D to D behind the goal. Pass miscommunicated behind the boards there, and Soar's gonna have to hustle to get back to this loose puck. Burning out from center ice, John Testino trying to get back and uh, cause some chaos on the Gamecock breakout. One touch in there. Dylan Jacob after it. Up off the high glass, bringing it back, and Evan Hoey's gonna have to hurry. Hoey and Deer, and Hoey wins that battle. Shovels it back in now to Luke Rudman. Rudman in further into his own zone. Dangerous pass there right through the slot area. We saw Centracchio pay for that one earlier against Clemson. A shot off the stanchion almost hopped in on Zach Lynch. Nine and a half to go. They bring it in front. A chance and a scramble. Save made by Lynch. Puck popped up in the air. Now it's loose and now Lynch makes a save. And now more bodies go down. Centracchio standing over a guy. And we've got Deer going after guys. Zach Lynch is in some discomfort. He took a heavy collision there. Lynch is oh, down boy. and he's in trouble. Yeah, it looks like he took that one to the head. Back of the head. Deer's Pulled gone. in net right now. Evan Deer has been tossed, I believe, into the penalty box at least. He might be out of this game. Deer goes full speed into the goaltender, Lynch. He lost his mask. It's unclear if that was before or after the play that his mask came off. And the officials trying to make sure that uh, Zach Lynch is okay. Kyle Gradsky's on the ice right now. Just in case. 
9.21 to go, and another power play for South Carolina. Kennesaw State playing the physical game. Evan Deer is going to sit for a rough. Two minutes is all we've gotten right now. Not sure if he'll get a 10 minute misconduct there. I can see Brandon Alter typing on his phone. We'll see if that uh, 10 minute misconduct text comes through. Zach Lynch getting some medical attention here. Going through the concussion protocol right now, they are as thorough as they can be with the limited medical supplies they have. And the officials apparently telling head coach Joel Konsowitz to uh, lay off the talking a little bit here. Konsowitz in danger of being thrown out if he continues to uh, talk to the official as per our source between the benches. Officials conferring at center ice right now. It looks like Zach Lynch is going to stay in the hockey game. Evan Hoey back there to make sure he's all right. The official skates back. The trainers have been out there for a while. Lynch, really a, a scary scene for a while. You see him in the net holding his head. He had his mask off. For a second, I thought he got cut by a skate. And again, we, we've seen these goaltenders being run over probably five or ten times in this hockey game. Fifteen or twenty if you count last night. Goaltenders being bowled over. And again, there's... There's what Luke Rudman was trying to do in uh, getting the heads of Kennesaw State and the goaltender. And then there's that bowling in the goaltender. Not that South Carolina hasn't done that. They've been guilty of some, uh, some questionable plays against goaltender Luke Thurston. No one is without blame and no one was, at, was without sin in tonight's game. But you don't need me to tell you that. And we've got... Oh, I, for a second I thought the trainers were taking the, uh, the two Gamecock players off. But it is the other way around. We've got... We've got some chivalry here at the Plex. What the Gamecocks need to do here is not let that break and play shift the momentum that's that's in the building right now. The energy they played with this second period, and now on the power play, if they can execute here, it'll be all tied up, Dylan. Thurston gonna have to come up big on the penalty kill here for the Owls as well as the other four men on the ice. A high stick waved off. Up off the boards, Cam Mecca has it in the neutral zone. They'll play it back in. You sometimes got to go backwards to go forwards. Now Hickman off the dash or Dave Murray. A miscommunication on that pass. And it'll go back in. Fresh penalty killers on for Kennesaw State. Off the boards, Mecca and Duncan Hickman. Backhand just went out towards center. Ronan Egan, a one-touch pass through Cam Mecca. He gets hooked on the play, and that'll be a penalty. Ronan Egan, there's no way to... Uh, Avert your eyes from that one. Egan goes flying off the hook there. Gagne Spazinski will go to the box. Penalty minutes number 77 and 78. Spazinski leading his team. He's going to go sit for two more. Egan doing a great job trying to split the defense there. It looks like we're having a timeout on the Gamecock side. Most coaches don't usually like to use their timeouts before the third period, but uh, this one seems pretty well advised by Alan Serwa. You're trying to erase a three goal deficit. It's a hectic game. The uh, emotion is all over the place. Right now you got a minute 24 of a five on three. You gotta get your power play set up the way you want it. We've seen in this second period, when Brian Soar drifts down low, that lower half of the faceoff dot, it's similar to, can't believe I'm gonna say this, similar to Ovi's office. Alex Ovechkin on that left face-off dot on the power play for Washington is lethal. You see Soar sneak down. We talked to Duncan Hickman about they run the overload power play. They stack four guys on one side of the ice, pass it around between those in hopes that you forget the one guy. Soar being that one man you forget about. Soar sneaks down low. The penalty killers get picked apart a little bit. The power play rotates. If you can get that pass to connect, it's a pretty much a slam dunk for Brian Soar at one end of that net. If... Thurston doesn't get over and make that pad save. And we talked about it before the game. Yesterday, there was a similar situation where the Gamecocks had an extended five-on-three opportunity in a close game, a chance to get back in it, and they didn't convert, and that led to a blowout for Kennesaw State leading to the end of the second and end of the third period. So South Carolina using their timeout to get, get settled, draw up a play, and see what they got right here. Soar holds it in on that attempted clear. They move with D to D to Peters. Back over to Soar, he plays pitch and catch with Peters. Peters creeps down, moves it to Hawkinson, Peters has it once more. Trying to stretch the penalty killers out, there's only three of them. 
Peters winds and fires one that goes wide. Off the boards, it comes to Cam Mecca, able to keep that one in. Mecca in the slot, looking for Egan. Now it's Peters a shot, off the glove, save made there by Thurston. He bobbled it for a second. Excellent hand eye there by Luke Thurston to get that one in the glove. And 56 seconds remain on the five on three. We have seen some moments of excellence from Luke Thurston, both today and yesterday. And that one tipped off his glove, but the composure and control to snag that one out of the air, keep it from going in the net. Another important faceoff win for South Carolina. Rolling puck settled down by Brian Sorg. 50 to go on the five on three. Nick Peters over for Sorg and a shot save made. Right on there by Thurston. We talked about getting traffic in front. The Gamecocks didn't have it that time. Another save by Thurston. Yeah, good movement again. A lot of open ice being five on three, and they're moving the puck well. Good passes leading to good shots, and eventually Thurston's going to be beaten. This time a faceoff win by Kennesaw State. Peters got to hustle over and keep this puck in. It squirts past him, though. Great read there by Peters to notice that that puck was coming over to his point. Just unable to seal himself against those boards and keep that puck in. Gamecocks bring it back in on the power play. 27 to go on the two-man advantage. In rotation, they've got Peters at the top of the circles. Nick Peters back down for Corey Hogson at the hash marks. Goes over for Soar. That puck just evades that long reach of Ryan Soar. 15 to go on the two-man advantage. Soar for Peters. Peters walks in, shoots one off the boards. And now Soar's got to hustle in, but McDonald gets it past him. Final five to go here on the two-man advantage. One man will come out of the box for Kennesaw State. Right there, we've got a five-on-four power play now. Peters back over for Tenji. One touch between his legs. It's going to be Ronan Egan. Egan pulls up at the top of the circles, goes back down low. Jake Tenji in after for South Carolina. 25 to go on the man advantage. Tenji rotates back up through. Tries to take Halen away. Powderly back up for Duncan Hickman. Hickman walks, fires one, save made, rebound, another save. Two saves, three saves for Thurston. And that puck was still loose when they blew the whistle, Dylan. Opportunity after opportunity for Ronan Egan. Thurston slams the door shut, gets the pad together, gets the stick involved. And 13 seconds remain on the man advantage. Luke Thurston wearing the uh, V6 pads that Jonathan Quick wore three or four years ago. Trying to channel his inner, inner Quick, and he does it there. Pizzo, final seconds of the power play. They move back down low to Powderly. More collisions in front. Back up now to the point. Oakley a shot. Save made, and the rebound kicked out. It comes to Hickman. Hickman the shot, and that one kicked out by Thurston as well. Even strength now, Hickman's got a chance. Shooting one, save made, and a stick save over the net. Swatted out there by Ian Powderly. Chipped out to the point, Hickman holds it in. Momentum swing here for South Carolina. Hickman takes a hit by Testino. Swatted out there by Nick Pizzo. Powderly brings it out. Looking now, center point goes over to Duncan Hickman. Hickman back down low, six and a half to go. In this period, thrown on goal there by Jake Tenji. Just past Ian Powderly, a shot there, and a stick save by Thurston. Gamecocks relentless here. They want it. Tenzi holds it at the line. And now it squeaks between the skates of Duncan Hickman. He's got to get back. Hickman being bullied for that puck by Testino. Great Off defense and a huge hit. Vander oh, Kirkhoff sends one of the Gamecocks down. He got him up high. I didn't see. I was looking down at the score sheet. And slow to get up. Not getting up. One of the Gamecock defenders. It was, I believe, Tyler Oakley. If it was indeed Oakley, that was a great defensive play. Poke checking that puck away. And then a high hit by Kennesaw State. And Alan Gordon, equipment manager for the Gamecocks, is out there with some speed, realizing the urgency. As if that is Tyler Oakley, he has not gotten up yet. Alan Gordon himself losing vision in his right eye due to an injury he sustained while playing the ECHL. Gordon making sure this is not a similar situation. Trying to make sure Tyler Oakley is okay. While we get this sorted out, a big opportunity for South Carolina at one end. They finally get some power play opportunities. They get some pucks through to Luke Thurston. He's kicking them out. And finally we see Tyler Oakley back up. At least he's sitting up here. A scary situation here in South Carolina. Very scary. And it's unfortunate. It was coming off one of the... This is 
some of the best hockey we've seen South Carolina play all season. They're getting shots on net left and right. Great passing. And now to the applause of the crowd. Oakley will skate off. Oakley skates off under his own power, and he will go. Judging by his trajectory, he's heading back to the uh, South Carolina bench. Thought he was going off. Thought he was going to go off the ice there for a second. Oakley going to sit for a little while, and he will. Yes, he will go back to the Gamecock locker room, or at least step off the bench for a few moments here. Duncan Hickman has been tagged with a two-minute minor for interference as he was trying to keep that puck away by John from John Testino. Hickman will sit for a pair, and it's going to be a power play the other way for Kennesaw State. Huge penalty kill opportunity for South Carolina. As time ticks down here in period number two, we will try for the third time to get Brian Soar on in the second intermission. The elusive Brian Soar. He's our white whale. We're going to try to get an interview with him in between periods here. If he remembers to stay on the bench. And if we can get our wireless microphone working. A lot of ifs here, but hey, that's why you tune in. It's the uncertainty that makes it fun to watch. Tenji having a conversation here with Evan Deer. It appears to be friendly in nature. And we have finally gotten everything sorted out here. Oakley being attended to by the trainers doesn't seem to be in too much discomfort. It's, it's good to see the, uh, really the, the, uh, the initiative there by Alan Gordon to hop on there and really, to his own peril, sprint down the ice. A turning shot hit the outside of the net. Alan Gordon with the safety of his players in mind. We've got more scrum below the goal line. And they flick the penalty over. Gamecocks are back on the power play here. A high stick and minor call. We'll wait till this gets sorted out. We haven't received word from the penalty box yet what the call is. But still they battle for it. All three men below the goal line will finally get a whistle. The official signals for a face off. And we'll get a draw here. Five and a half to go. That killed 30 seconds worth of power play time for South Carolina. Jake Tenji will face off against Drew Spazinski. Spazinski with a goal tonight. Tenji looking for his first in a while. Off the draw, Tenji wins it back cleanly. Held in by Dave Murray. Back down low they go. Cross ice, point to point. Nick Peters. Peters down low for Cam Mecca. Mecca bodied, but gets the puck to Jake Tenji. Slaps this one around. And Pizzo gonna have to come over. He gets hit before he even touches the puck. Pizzo against Gagne. Works it free to Jake Tenji. Tenji works back towards the point. Murray hesitates, shoot one, and is blocked. Murray goes underneath, a minute to go on the penalty. Murray walks all the way back around, he's taken down, and he, that puck picked oh, up and looks thrown like down the pass. ice by Evan Deer. He picked that puck up and threw it down the ice. That is not in any rule book I've seen, but at this point, they're just gonna let him go. Mecca avoids contact, brings it through, tries to curl onto the inside, he's body off the puck. Gagne's got it, 43 to go. I am sure we will hear about that one later on. Nick Peters at the red line. Swatted out there by Evan Deer. He got away with one there, didn't he? Yes, he did. Through center ice, Dave Murray brings it on. Final 30. Murray curls the inside a chance. Murray shoots one safely by Thurston. The rebound's still loose. They work it free. Pops all the way back up in the air. Stays in the zone and in the playing surface. Pizzo after for South Carolina. Big hit there by Spazinski. Hawkinson's got it. Looking towards center ice. 15 to go on the man advantage. Mecca brings it through, tries to curl it, oh, he goes in. in! Cam Mecca shoots and scores! They work it in front, it's a power play goal. The Gamecocks tie it up here with four minutes to go in the second period. The Gamecocks come all the way back, they erase a three goal deficit to tie the game here at three. Do not count these Gamecocks out. Wow, Dylan, wow. This has been two completely separate teams, first period to second period. And boy, when you get this many shots on goal and you play that well in the offensive zone, good things are bound to happen. Great job by, I believe it was Mecca behind the net, sending that one, trying to get a slot pass. It looked like it went off a Kennesaw State player's skate and bounced into the net to tie this one up with four to go in the second period. Thurston has not been beaten cleanly all night. Two deflections and then that one, I believe it went in off his own defenseman. Maybe off his stick as well and between his legs. A couple of squeakers, but South Carolina is back in this game. Rejuvenated, Evan Hoey shoots this one in. Off the glove there. Now, danger here. 
chasing after it, Matt Owen. Intercepted by Brian Sorrell, he'll wrap this one back in. Siegfried's got a touch up. Matt Owen does as well, and now back in is Alex Siegfried, behind the goal. Josh Berzinski, hit there. Now bring up McDonald, and Hoey's gonna keep this one in, tipped in the slot area. Gamecocks battle for it. Matt Owen, and a hit there at open ice by Brian Sorrell. Evan Hoey fills in, throws this one back out. Luke Rudman's on the ice, as he should be. Energy guy tonight for South Carolina. He's the Energizer Bunny. He's been all around the ice. He does not stop. Loose in, and now a chance for McDonald. Diving out his tackles. He got it with the stick. Lynch denies an opportunity there. Three minutes to go. Point shot. They score. No off the goal post. Diving around. Zach Lynch makes two Lynch is in. missing a stick right I now. I thought that puck went in. And now a shot goes up into the netting. And Zach Lynch sprawls around, makes two big saves. One with the stick. Thrashing around, makes one with the blocker off that goal post. And we got to take a breather here. 3-3. Three, three. 3.03 to go in period number two. Dylan, I'm not going to lie to you. That puck looked like it went in the net. But it bounced out so quickly. I don't know if anyone noticed. Regardless, Zach Lynch, after diving out and making a good play there, lost his stick. Didn't have any stick on that shot. And it will be no goal and a faceoff in the offensive zone. A lot of action now, Dylan. Off the goal post. You need luck. You got to be good to be lucky. You got to be lucky to be good. Gamecocks having luck on their side, at least briefly here. They'll try to work it out again. Pressure at one end turns into pressure at the other end. This time it's in the Kennesaw State offensive zone. Now bring it back out. It's going to be Ian Powderly. Powderly brings it ahead. Ronan Egan supports him in the middle. Around they'll bring it. Evan Deer bringing it through. Bumped off the puck there, and both men go down. Deer and Jacob. And now another penalty. We'll see who it goes to. The official motioning there. Dylan Jacob going to be boxed on the interference penalty. And the Gamecocks will have another panel, penalty to kill. Two power play goals in the first period for Kennesaw State. None so far here in the second. They'll try to change the script here. As there is not a better time for them to get a power play goal than after this game was tied at three. Yeah, only two, two minutes, 37 seconds left in the second period and you don't want to go late here. That could kill the momentum going into the third period. This is arguably one of the best periods of hockey we've seen this team play all season. And big penalty kill coming here, Dylan. Big face-off won by Cam Mecca. You see the inspiration here now for these Gamecocks. A battle that seemed all but lost is now brand new. Mecca gets it all the way out into the neutral zone. Some forechecking here. Now it's going to be a chance Sorry, for Mecca. Chance. Cam Mecca. They fill in quickly. Mecca curls into the back end, though. A shot there off the outside of the net. Those uh, misleading shots off the outside of the net. Berzinski as far as center. Out to the skate of Deer, and Deer escapes a hit there from Jake Tenzi. Deer brings it on, shoots one off a leg there. <coughs> Gamecocks clear. Gotta take a hit to make a play sometimes. Tenzi at center ice. Comes free. Now it will be Nick Pizzo shorthanded. Pizzo brings it out, a chance in for Pizzo, shoots one, and a save there by the goaltender, Luke Thurston. Draws a penalty, though, and it will be a hook coming up to Justin Berzinski. That's a pair of shorthanded chances for South Carolina right there, and a big play there to draw the penalty. And now we will skate four on four for the majority of the rest of this second period. Nick Pizzo playing like his hair's on fire. If he just decides to dump that puck in, Gamecocks don't get that offensive chance. They don't draw that penalty. And we're still skating five on four, but now four on four. Hawkinson, Rudman, Soar, and Duncan Hickman on now for the Gamecocks. A minute and 10 of this four on four. And then an abbreviated power play for South Carolina. Hawkinson to take the draw. We've got more. Spazinski in the box now. Was it Spazinski that took the trip? I believe so. He was on the ice for, oh, and now they're adding another penalty. Spazinski must have gotten one from the bench. Bruce Spazinski, 80 penalty minutes. He hits the 80 penalty minute mark. Congratulations to Drew Spazinski. An, Im an impressive feat, Dylan. Honestly, it is. When, you, when you're playing 20 something games and you get 80 penalty minutes, that's pretty good. Soar holds it in. Four on four we go. Rudman around. Gagne, staple guns him to the boards. Rudman goes down. Hawkinson after for the Gamecocks. Hawkinson off the outside of the cage. Tries to tuck one in. He's met there with stellar goaltending by Luke Thurston. Hickman 
in rotation down for Rudman. Rudman with Soar sneaking down. Soar's got it. Rudman fills in at the point. Soar shoots one and a save made by there. Thurston wants to make sure that uh, Luke Rudman gets out of his way. And another faceoff here. Brian Soar shooting the puck a lot. He's got at least four or five shots on goal tonight. He scored his first career goal in his first career game. Talking to Alan Sirwa about that a little bit earlier. As we were saying, Soar originally a forward. He's shooting the puck tonight like he's a forward. And that one goes... Yeah, that didn't sound like any piece of glass. It's because it hit the metal in behind the, uh, the arena. Minute nine to go in the period. 33 to go on the four on four. A 3-3 hockey game. And Corey has uh, Evan Hoey. Hoey getting the business from his teammates here for that attempted field goal. Out of defensive territory, the Owls moving ahead. Final 60 seconds of the second period. It was 3-0 when we entered it. And regarding any changes, it could be 3-3 here at the end of it. Stretch pass denied there by Vander, Kirk Vander Kirkhoff. Gamecocks bringing ahead here. Powderly holds it in temporarily. The Gamecocks got to touch up here. Hawkinson and Hoey were off sides. Gagne motors on ahead. Ian Powderly almost picks his pocket there, and Dave Murray tries to do the same. Third time's a charm here. Matt Owen gets it away. They'll work it out. Power play here for the Gamecocks. Five on four. Powderly with Murray headed towards the net. That one goes off escape. Defenseman fill in for South Carolina. Powderly looks. Goes to Hoey, and that one just evades the stick of Evan Hoey. Hoey going to get to the red line and just send this one back in. Final 10, Thurston back for Kennesaw State. They'll chip this one back out, held in by Evan Hoey. Hoey shoots one, tipped in front by Powderly, and that'll do it. We entered this game scoreless, and we've got more conversations here. We entered the second period at 3-0, and we're going to enter the second intermission tied at three. Goals by, let me see here, Cam Mecca, Nick Peters, and Luke Rudman. We've got a tie game here. We're going to send you to an intermission when we come back, hopefully. An interview with Brian Soar at ice level here on the Capital City Sports Network presented by SGTV.
second intermission report with Brian Soar. I think I'm back on. We'll see. Brian, big period there. You guys went into it 3-0. You were able to come out of it tied with the game here. 14-5 were the shots in your favor that period. What was the difference in the second stanza? Well, the boys were just working hard. We knew eventually they're an undisciplined team. They're going to take a bunch of penalties. We ended up just working, outworked them. They drew, uh, drew a bunch of penalties, and, you know, power players just working out for us. A bunch of shots. Thurston's an extremely good goaltender. You guys aren't being able to get a lot of the clean shots on him, but the goals that have gone in, they've been tips, deflections, screens, and just weird plays in front of the net. Is that the game plan to keep going, just get in his face? Yep. That's what we're focusing on. They are definitely a good goalie, so all the traffic in front, uh, pucks on net, and just keep it up. Hopefully put in another one or two, uh, not give up anymore. Saw a lot of frustration in last night's game. You guys have seemingly let go of that. Is it a completely clean slate here for you in tonight's game? Yeah, absolutely. Last night was just not our night, and we decided, you know, move on, move, uh, just play our best game tonight, and hopefully get a W. Thanks, Brian. Good luck in the third. Thank when we come back, it'll be the third period here on the Capital City Sports Network. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the Capital City Sports Network where we are just about to get underway here with period number three. If you are just joining us, it has been end-to-end -end action at least for the last 20 minutes. Kennesaw State goes up 3-0 in the first game. Cox battle back, make it a tie game here at three to start the third. They begin it with a 13-second power play. And important to note, Kyle Gradsky between the pipes now for South Carolina. Zach Lynch has entered concussion protocol after that collision earlier on in the second period. And Zach, how does that change the complexion of this game? Well, yeah, when you got a new goaltender in the game, especially one that's as inexperienced as Gradsky is, he's only played in four games so far. He's 2-2, two and two and a, I believe it's a 6-0 goals against average. Uh, it's definitely a big, uh, a big challenge for the South Carolina defense, but if they... It's been the tale of two periods, so if they play like they have the second period instead of how they did the first, I think uh, Gradsky can uh, hold up, won't be as challenged as much. Thurston against Gradsky, the goaltending battle. Now Luke Thurston been outstanding tonight, but a couple of leaky pucks have gotten by him. Same can be said of Zach Lynch, but Lynch now is he not only on the bench, but he's uh, not only is he not on the bench, but he's back and he's out in his street clothes getting changed in the locker room. We will have 13 seconds to contend with here on the last of this penalty. And we are down and we are going here. Third period of action. So glad you could be with us here at the Plex in Irmo. They're on the Capital City Sports Network. Hadley throws this one ahead. Brought in and wristed on goal. A nice save made there. Watched closely by Hawkinson was Thurston. Another faceoff will come to the left. That glove side of Thurston. Dylan Jacob now. On that power play for South Carolina. He's got an assist so far tonight. His first, his first career assist, actually. <clears throat> Peters and Hickman on the point. Powderly Hawkinson, and as we said, Dylan Jacob up front. 19.45 to go here. Penalty has expired. They'll float this one on goal. It ends up in the far side corner. Hickman watches there at the point. Now Kennesaw State going to bring this one up with speed. Held in and taken down. Gamecocks touch up. Powderly motors through. Dylan Jacob shoots one off the skate of Ian Powderly. Hickman with pressure there. Jacob and now Corey Hawkinson chips this one up. Back and settled down. Dylan Jacob throws this one in far side. They'll wrap it back around and Gagne with it for the Owls. Long stretch pass off the boards. Taken nicely there by Deer. Loses it and Ronan Egan's gonna have to make a decision. Up it comes to Ian Powderly. Still on the ice with some new, uh, new forwards out with him. Powderly down low. Egan and Mecca in front. Centering pass for Mecca. Shoots one. Save made there by Thurston. Didn't see that puck until it was right on top of him. Powderly now after it. At the point. Shot save. Never got on goal. Thurston looking like he got another save there. And a puck off a defenseman in the slot. Powderly finally hustles off for a line change. And now Gagne brings it out from his own goal. Wristing this one back in. Icing not called. Gradsky touches this one back for Brian Soar. Source saying the Gamecocks feel much more calm and spirit. A turnover in front. Save made there by Gradsky. He denies Vanderkirk. Another save made. Vanderkirk off the shot off the outside of the cage. Gradsky may have gotten a skate on that one too. McDonald looking for the wraparound. They bring it back out. Gagne, long wrister. Save made. Gradsky flashes out the right pad. He came ready to play here in the third period. Mecca brings it back with speed for South Carolina. Drops that one off. Pizzo shot. He gets bowled over as he lets that one go. That puck sails well wide. Tipped in the slot there by Jake Tenzi. Pizzo throws it back down low. He's got Soar in front of the net. Soar comes in to help out now. And now that puck comes free to Gagne. Gagne's been on now for two and a half minutes. Long shift here for Tristan Gagne. Still after it. Comes free at center ice. Jake Tenzi left that puck behind. He's going to backhand that one off the boards in hopes that Matt Owen can get to it. In the slot, Oakley a shot, that one saved, and Oakley gets hit in the head again. Oakley races out to retrieve his stick, another chance in the slot, and Thurston sticks that one aside, and an interference call. Tyler Oakley cannot catch a break tonight. He's gotten cross-checked in the throat. I talked to equipment manager Alan Gordon, that's what it was in that second period. Oakley got cross-checked in the throat. Similar situation to what happened to Bobby Van Dusen last night. Oakley's okay, and he gets another stick, another hit up high. And again, player safety coming into question here in this third period. Boy, these goalies have been tested from the get-go. Three quick saves by Gradsky. Not easy saves either. Shots right in front. Big-time saves by uh, Gradsky to set up chances on the offensive end, where Thurston has come up big as well. And now South Carolina with a chance on the power play. 
where they were they were superb last period. Hawkinson now out with Murray and Matt Owen. Peters and Hickman once more on the back end. Defensive zone win on the penalty kill. Always a great place to start for Kennesaw State. Haas sees it come free now to Berezinski. Puck chipped all the way out off the boards and off Duncan Hickman. He'll race back, slide this one over to Nick Peters. Takes it on his backhand, flips this one up, and a turnover almost. Skated away from Haas by Matt Owen. And now Hickman sees that puck taken away from him. McDonald bodied there by Nick Peters. Murray has to get back. We've got three, now four Gamecocks back. Two of the shorthanded Owls, Peters and Hickman. And now Hickman gets taken down away from the puck. Puck comes free now. Hawkinson with speed. They got a three on two. Hawkinson taken out of the play there. Nice hit there by Max Haas. Behind the goal, Berzinski with Peters down low. They've got it for South Carolina. Two men below the goal line. Hawkinson moves this one now for Matt Owen. Owen sidesteps a man there. Hawkinson's got it. He's got Peters coming down. Backhand shot. Save made in the glove on top. Thurston, a big stop there. Keeps this game knotted at three goals apiece. 16.32 to go in the game, in regulation that is. And a minute and six seconds to go on the power play for South Carolina. An offensive first couple of minutes here into the third. A lot of shots on net. And goalies are certainly being tested here in this tie game. Second unit on now for South Carolina. Soar and Hoey at the points. Soar down low. 14 to five were the shots in that second period in favor of South Carolina. Momentum swinging here. Tenji throws one in front with traffic. And Vander Kirkhoff gets this one down all the way out. Vander Kirkhoff plays all the big minutes. Power play, penalty kill, you name it. For Kennesaw State, he's out there. Pass out from behind his own goal. Brian Soar sees this one at center ice. Tenji throws it back down to Soar. Soar spins up, gets it to Tenji in the slot. Soar taken down behind the play. Still getting, there's a stick tied up in the skates of Soar. And now back down low. I think that stick, stick was in Brian Soar's uh, skate cover there. The cowling at the bottom there that holds the blade. Soar tries to pinch in. Can't, he does hold this puck in now. Top of the circle, Soar's got it. Doesn't know what to do with it though. He's got Mecca at the point. 16 to go on the man advantage. Back down low, Hoey at the point. They'll just rotate out slowly. Back down they go, Hoey creeping down. Try to shovel that one in front, it goes off the back of the net. Hoey's got to retreat back out to the top of the circles. Hoey slides it across. Soar, now the man is out. Soar gets some contact there. Down low, Ronan Egan. Throws this one over for Cam Mecca. Mecca taken down, now Ronan Egan has the puck. Spins this one out of the corner. Centering pass for Hoey there, and Hoey couldn't connect. Now it's brought back ahead, Evan Deer. Deer tries to beat Soares, lowers the shoulder, shoots on a save made by Bradsky. And now more, and now Deer jumps Soar. More guys go after Deer. Soar is furious right now. Hoey comes back. Hoey got his helmet ripped off his head in last night's game. More are going to go. They're going to send Deer to the box again. Deer has been a frequent flyer in that penalty box. He's got a lot of miles racked up. Deer going out to the South Carolina bench. Ian Powderly's going to let him here. So will Brian Soar. Boy, Soar, Soar was heated after that exchange. Went over to Deer, and Deer just lowered it and uplifted Soar. Went soaring through the air, one could say. Oh. <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry. And with that, we're going to set it to a commercial break now. I wish we could. My goodness. 15.06 to go in the third period. Three goals for South Carolina, three for Kennesaw State, and one terrible pun for us here at the Capital City Sports Network. Zach McKinstry, ladies and gentlemen, as we try to sort more out. Always somebody in the box for one of these teams. We've got three and now four in that penalty box for Kennesaw State. Starting to look like a clown car in there. Coach Consowitz, oh, somebody should take your mic from you. Coach Consowitz, letting the officials hear it. Thurston going to head back to his net. And more to come. We'll try to decide the personnel here. One penalty up on the board for sure. And it is against Kennesaw State. Another power play for South Carolina. Coach Consowitz having a conversation with his team, trying to preach discipline, undoubtedly. 15.06 to go here in the period. Offensive zone chance up on the power play for South Carolina. Murray back out for Oakley. Oakley down low, Hawkinson twirls, shoots one from a bad angle, save made, rebound. 
Poked down in front again. Still that puck is loose. Where is it? It goes into the corner. Reverse for Hawkinson. Brings out again another shot. Stop there. Thurston makes the save. Hawkinson likes that steep angle shot. He gets denied twice. Thurston holds it at 3-3 with a minute 44 to go on the power play. Best <coughs> start for South Carolina on the power play. A lot of shots in. Thurston is holding his ground right now. And Alan Sirwa telling Corey Hawkinson to bring that puck out a little farther before he gets a shot off. Puck avoids Tyler Oakley. Peters has a man after him. Peters has it. Moran watches on from the top of the circles. Hawkinson ahead over the blue line. Hawkinson. The carry guy here on the power play for South Carolina. Peters, nice job to keep that puck in. It was the Pizzo in the slot. A one-time shot there from a bad angle. Couldn't connect. Back out, Murray looks towards the point. Pulls up, surveys the slot area. Goes back down low now. Centering pass, gets it there to Oakley. A shot off the outside of the cage. Thurston may have got a piece of it. Again, the Gamecocks survey the land. Top of the circles, Hawkinson. Showing the uh, edge work there. Down low, Murray, stutter step into the slot. Comes through to Peters, a shot there, and it bounces up in the air, loose in front. Where is it? Still it's loose, more poking, and another save by Thurston. Hawkinson gets in after it, after the play. 14 to go on the period, 54 to go on the power play. Thurston absolutely lights out so far to start this third period. And he had to lie on his back to stop that puck, but boy, that one was bouncing around left and right inside. Great job by Thurston to hold on to that puck and ice it to get this face off. Once again, South Carolina's power play is just getting better and better and more shots on net, more offense for the South Carolina team. Off the face-off win, they'll move it out to Evan Hoey, who lets one go, and a glove save there by Thurston. He's not going to let that one go. Anytime Thurston can see the puck clearly, he's going to make that save. 48 to go on the power play. Gamecocks doing a great job in these last two periods of moving the puck around on the power play. Miscommunications hindered their uh, power play abilities in the first but they've uh, worked some of the kinks out here in the second and third periods. Down low, Mecca's got it. He gets crunched along that far side boards. We got the puck back after being distributed from Duncan Hickman. Move it back out now. Evan Hoey with Tenji in front. Hoey shoots one, save made by Thurston. Tenji looking for the rebound. He's gonna have to go into the corner to get it. Back out, Hoey, another shot goes wide. Off the boards, Hickman gonna kick it in with a skate. Moves it back down low to Powderly. Underneath, Mecca again. Gamecocks working it back down from below the goal line. Trip there, Tenji goes down, no call. They'll work it back out again. Over to Hickman at the left side point. Hickman in the slot, Powderly shoots one, never got a clean shot, still it's loose, Thurston on his back. Comes back out now to Hickman, more scramble, a shot, save made, locked down in front. They're moving into the corner here, five to go on the man advantage. Hickman able to keep it in. Sends it back down low, out of the corner, Mecca spins. Even strength here, five on five we go with 13 minutes left in regulation. Back down low, Matt Owen after it. And Kennesaw State finally has it, man out of the box. Just past the stick of Vander Kirkhoff. And in it will go for an icing, 12.51 to go here. The Gamecocks didn't score, but the momentum swinging here in their favor. They gotta be happy with the way they move the puck around on that power play. Folks at home can take a breath right now. Wow, there were some cannons on that power play. A bunch of passes up to the point and just slap shots left and right. Thurston is holding his ground right now, and this offense from South Carolina is not letting up. Clear off the glass, Source sends it far side, right underneath that Palmetto Skate Club sign. And Kennesaw State will have to break this one back out. Soar pinches in. Vander Kirkhoff gets that puck past him, all the way out into the neutral zone. Sliding into the boards there is Matt Owen. Back to get it, McDonald. He's gonna have to contend with Brian Soar. McDonald and Soar. McDonald tries and goes down, and he's gonna get a call here. McDonald goes down to the ice and now covering his face. McDonald appears to be in some discomfort. He gets a penalty here out of the official. Soar is gonna go to the box. And it was only a matter of time. Brian Soar booked two for tripping. Out of all the things that haven't been called in this game, a bit surprising that that one was. We've seen Gamecocks and Owls taking liberties with each other and the officials letting them play on, but not this time. A power play for Kennesaw State, State, to try and get their lead back and make it a 4-3 hockey game. Gamecocks with a big opportunity here. A penalty kill would bolster their momentum even more. A power play goal against will essentially suck all the air out of the building. 
Parkinson and Pizzo out with Hoey. On the back end, Tyler Oakley. Vander Kirkhoff. Center point shot, save made by Gradsky. Rebound loose, Gradsky didn't know where it was. Vander Kirkhoff now in the neutral zone, just in front of his own blue line. Tipped there by McDonald, swatted away there. Nice play by Tyler Oakley. Oakley seeming no worse for wear after that cross check up high. Going in the second period. Working through, through now, Berezinski up off the boards. Berezinski's got it back. Vander Kirkhoff wants it back. Berezinski center point now, Vander Kirkhoff. Jeremy Vander Kirkhoff. They'll go back out, top of the circle. Berezinski's shot, knocked down in front. Deer after it for Kennesaw State. Deer. The flash of gray and white back out to the point. He works it away. Far side, centering pass there for McDonald. Couldn't kick it up to the stick. Berzinski, Vander Kirkhoff wants it far circle. Again, that block by Corey Hawkinson. Gamecocks have killed half the power play. Deer, hollering for that puck at the blue line. Gamecocks have a change. Nice play there by Cam Mecca to get back. Vander Kirkhoff holds it in. Let's see it go out past the stick of Aaron Teasdale. The fans certainly understand the importance of this power play, Dylan. They are really pulling for this kill. Tisdale brings it in, drops off for Vander Kirkhoff, and Mecca gets it after it. Back out now, Ronan Egan shorthanded. He's gonna try and dip his way through. Yes, he does. He gets it and kills some more time. 30 seconds to go on the power play. Gamecocks trying to kill this one off. Below the goal line, they'll work it out now. Three men across the red line for South Carolina. Mecca is gassed. He's been out there for almost the entire penalty kill. Haas wraps this one back around. Watched by Nick Peters is Aaron Tisdale. Tisdale surveys, goes between the legs of Ronan Egan until it's poked off his stick by Cam Mecca. Back down low to the final three. Soars out of the box, he's got to hustle back into the play here. Down low, the Gamecocks all collapsed into the house, right in front of the goal. Some tired penalty killers. Kennesaw might try to sneak a guy off here for a line change. Loose it comes, back down low, they work it free again. Time of possession killing South Carolina here in the last few minutes, they get it back out. John Testino, back to the point. Gagne shoots one, save made by Grasky. The rebound picked up by Duncan Hickman. Shoveled out of danger. Pizzo trying to get to it, he chops it out. And now, Testino after the line change. Hickman stays on, he had to. Testino, centering pass, just past the stick of Haas. Great recognition there by Duncan Hickman to realize he has to stay on the ice. Now it's chance, Dave Murray got to pick it out of the boards. Murray brings it on ahead, he's bobbed off that puck. Murray still in after it, he takes a hit. Puck comes loose, Centracchio, knuckle puck, shoots one, just past the skate there. Jake Tenji whacked that one. Tenji's got it back, turns up, and it shoots one into the slot area off the stick of Dave Murray. And they bring it back with speed, it's Deer. Heavy check there by Jake Tenji, the game caught captain. And they'll try to move it back out. Pizzo, up off the stick, Tenji filling in for defense on South Carolina. Tenji heads back to the bench. Captain Energy here for South Carolina. Nine to go in the period. Deadlocked at three. Both teams want to get the win, but nobody wants to give an inch. Drummond back with Mitch Bright on the pressure. They'll shove this one back up the wall. Dave Murray's been on for a while now. He's got to get off for a line change. Back now, Drummond goes down to his knees. Rudman in after it. Rudman goes down as well, and another hit by Drummond. Drummond ends up on the ice for a second time in 10 seconds. Rudman behind the goal for the Gamecocks. Watch closely there by Bright. That shot redirected in, no. Hawkinson did not get a stick on that. An icing call and a whistle and a face off in South Carolina territory with eight and a half to go in the third period. Oh, it's getting exciting now, Dylan. <laughs> Action back and forth on both sides. There was a couple of times on that Kennesaw State power play where South Carolina was caught in the middle of a line change and a chance for Kennesaw State, but great hustle off the bench to recover and keep those shots from being too harmful. If we could put this third period next to the third period of last night's game, I don't think most people would believe that these are the same two teams. Energy up by 100% here on this Saturday night in Irmo. Rudman brings it ahead. He's carrying the whole Kennesaw State team with him. He gets a hip check there. And Rudman stays on his feet. Back the other way. Spazinski. Sees this one come to Vander, Vander Kirkhoff. Vander Kirkhoff shoots one, knocked down in front. Testino a save made there by Gradsky. And Kyle Gradsky, after spending 40 minutes on the bench, comes out here 
and he has been stellar for South Carolina, robbing Vander Kirkov and Testino in this late period chance. Yeah, a couple of Gamecock defensemen caught watching the puck there. Letting Vander Kirkov in behind and a, a good shot, but Gradsky out of nowhere has really showed up so far. A bunch of big time saves, and this game remains 3 3. Kyle Gradsky sees this face off drop to his right. Gamecocks are moving up now. Ian Powderly out of the zone. He's got Ronan Egan. He'll try to flip it ahead to him. That puck in the air. Egan can't settle down. Now it does come to Egan. Nice play there by Dylan Jacob. Egan down low. Reverses for Jacob. Jacob swinging a miss there. Comes free to Soar anyway. <clears throat> Soar shot tipped in front there by Egan. Comes free into the glass. The official's got a duck. And now Powderly walks the circle. Shoots on just wide. It ends up in the boards. Trickling back out. It pops all the way back up in the air. Out of play. Off of a Gamecock. This face off motioned outside by the officials. It'll come in neutral territory. Brian Soar staying on the ice here. Heard uh, Alan Sirwa say that. Chief stay. The big minutes require big defensemen, and Brian Soar out with Tyler Oakley. Crucial moments becoming ever more important the closer we get to the end of this period. We've got a ride here. The next seven and a half minutes is tumbling down the ice. There's Oakley, now a chance. Deer shoots one, he scores! Evan Deer capitalizes on an opportunity. Oakley blew a tire there at the blue line. Deer converts over the glove of Gradsky. It's 4-3 Owls. Soar telling Gradsky to shake that one off. Yeah, and we saw a similar in instance last night with Soar falling on a uh, odd man rush, leading to a, a chance for Kennesaw State. And, uh, same thing happened here. Man fell down and <coughs> Kennesaw State finally caught a break. That same area too where Brian Soar blew a tire last night. So, pretty much the same exact spot, he just tripped over the blue line. We'll have to question those Zamboni guys. Back next they time. come. Corey Hawkinson, he's taken out, but the man got the puck. No penalty against the Owls there. Gamecocks with more fight in their step here. Owls bring it back again. It's Deer once again. Deer, another wrist shot in the skates of Peters. Deer, another shot. Save made rebound. Oh, no, big save there by Kraski, but it goes in. And they're going to call that one a goal. Mitch Bright crashes the crease, puts in the Deer rebound. And Kraski lost his net. He is living right now. Well, it looks like Gradsky had it there, but uh, a late poke by Kennesaw State, and that puck ended up in the net. Bright teams up with Deer to cash in. Evan Deer, goal number 12 on the season earlier on. Mitchell Bright, goal number 8. And just like that, this 3-3 game has been extended to 5-3. Gradsky makes an outstanding first save, but uh, he just lost his net, positioning there's a non-factor there. Gradsky all the way out to the right. Kennesaw State buries it, and it is 5-2 here. In period number three, just about six and three quarters to go in it. Soar shoots this one back in. Thurston stops it for Kennesaw State. Mecca in on the pressure for the Gamecocks. They move this one back out and ahead. Vander Kirkhoff tries to speed through. Comes in off his shin guard and a big hit there. Double hit, triple hit. More guys go after each other. Hoey goes down. And now we're going to have more. Tenji letting the man back to his feet. They bring it ahead now. Mecca drops for Egan. Egan sends one back up for Mecca. Shot saved me by Thurston. Hoey and Vander Kirkhoff come together in front A little front more of action after the whistle. More drawing. Hoey and Vander Kirkhoff. And now Thurston gets involved here. Now Jake Tenji going after it there with John Testino. We've seen Testino, one of the more vocal guys for Kennesaw State. Jake Tenji, undoubtedly one of the most vocal for South Carolina. He's got that C on his sweater for a reason. South Carolina working so hard in the second period. Oh, as a Kennesaw State player tumbles out of the bench. That's Deer. He's had a couple penalties tonight and the go-ahead goal. What a night for Evan Deer. Yeah. He's even getting his own teammates to chirp him. Some sar sarcastic stick taps all around there for Deer. But he's got to be feeling pretty good because he's, he's got a goal that gives his team the lead. 
And he's got the assist. That gives him a two-goal cushion. Now this play skated down and the icing cold. As Brian Sore watches this one back, 5.58 to go in the period. But as I was saying before Deers tumble rudely interrupted me. How dare he? <laughs> South Carolina worked hard in the second period to fight back to get in this game. Down 3-0, all the way back, a lot of momentum. And then the two goals here late in this third period really suck the momentum out of this out of this rink. Still a lot of time here as the head comes Deer. Deer out muscle sent Trachio. Deer brings it to the floor and a save made by Gradsky. The rebound is covered. Gradsky has that puck sealed between the boot of his pad and that goal post. Gradsky makes the save. He's got to be tired here and getting run into. Gradsky keeps it at 5-3. Hickman there on the support. It's never easy to come in as the backup goalie. It wasn't even though this game was out of hand. Lynch was not pulled because of a poor performance. Zach Lynch had been doing pretty well. Gradsky came in to fill in for the injured Zach Lynch. We haven't seen him on the bench yet. We haven't seen him anywhere. I'm just gonna assume he's in his street clothes back in his warm-up suit. As Peters brings this one on for South Carolina. Stretch pass ahead, picked up by Hawkinson. Hawkinson looks towards the center. Loses it, Murray swoops in to help. Dave Murray, Hickman wants it on the back end, but Dave Murray says to keep it down low. Centering pass there, Thurston gets it with the stick, preventing that uh, centering pass there. And another face off here, the tempo slowing down, less time in between whistles. As these teams are, they gotta be gassed. You're playing two games against the same guys, two nights in a row. Uh, not a lot of gas in the tank. Yeah, we have seen <coughs> three or four injuries tonight with players going down on the ice, and that's a combination of this aggressive play by both teams and tired legs of a back-to-back -back schedule. We're in the head now. Bright has it swatted off his stick, and Evan Deer, we've said his name a lot here in this third period. He's really stepped up for Kennesaw State. Gamecocks behind their own goal. Peters and Hawkinson team up. Hawkinson carries this one as far as center. Still motors through. Hawkinson taking a bunch of stick checks there. Centering pass again. Thurston redirects this one into the corner. Murray down for Peters. Peters twirls back around. Another move. Nice set of skills there by Nick Peters. And down low again. Back out. Hickman sends this one off the boards. Waved at there by Corey Hawkinson, but Hawkinson needs a line change. Not before he takes his puck, though, and loses it. Gets it back right in front of his goaltender. The Gamecocks disorganized once more. Peters throws this one ahead. On sides is Egan. Off sides is Egan. That was a close one, but uh, I think by about 8 or 10 inches, Ronan Egan just prematurely in that zone. I think the uh, the final four minutes, 23 seconds, is going to show a lot of what this South Carolina team is made of heading into the SEC tournament. They've played a great second period and a pretty strong third period, but a couple unfortunate breaks put them behind in this game. And, and we're about to see what they have in the tank. Another hit here is Ronan Egan got to pick his glove up off the ice. Sky pass ends up on Gagne's stick, tipped off of Nick Pizzo. Amanda Kirkhoff brings it back. And a Kirkhoff reverses it. Low it comes. In and around, they reverse it once again. Below that South Carolina goal line. Back out. We've seen Kennesaw State just trying to hang on here and nurse a two nothing or a two goal lead to the finish line here. More collisions in front of the bench. Evan Hoey's got to get back. Three and a half to go. Got to think a goalie pull coming soon here for Alan Surwa's Gamecocks. As Centracchio moves this one, centering pass gets across to Hoey. Slaps this one just too far for Nick Pizzo. Pizzo off the dasher. Haas at center ice. Kicked off the skate there of Josh Berzinski. Drew Spazinski there. And again. Three to go. Soar off the stick. Pizzo has it briefly and now up off the glass. Wheeling around Mecca, he can't get it at the blue line. And they'll move it back, Haas for the Owls. Two on one chance, blocking away there to save it. Rebound, they score! 
Drew Spazinski cashes in on the rebound and puts this one to bed. 6-3 Kennesaw State, 2.51 to go in the third period. And Spazinski hushing the South Carolina crowd as he goes to celebrate with his team. Good positioning and good follow on that shot. Had a bit of an odd man rush as Spazinski tries to bring back the dab. I don't, I'm not too sure about that one. Yeah, we'll just let that one go. But uh, great, great follow by Spazinski. A good save on the original shot by Gradsky and uh, Spinsky just taps that one back in. A good initial save there by Gradsky, but uh, blockered it right back out into the slot area. Excellent hands there by Spazinski to settle that bouncing puck down. And now another penalty as Mecca goes down. A power play for South Carolina. Opens the door just a crack here. And yeah, Kyle Gradsky heads towards the bench. There will be an extra attacker on for South Carolina. 2.43, the deficit that the Gamecocks try to make up is three. They've been down by three already in this game, but they had a full period to contend with at that point. They had a full, really at that point, they had two periods to contend with. But they did it in one. Six on four. The personnel for South Carolina. Hawkinson down low. Pizzo, Egan, Soren, Peters on as well. Soren at the line. Holds it in. Goes to Hawkinson. Kennesaw State collapses. Shot there by Soren. Save made and the rebound stopped as well. <coughs> Underneath, they've still got it. Looking towards the point. Soren motions. Hawkinson has it. Low. Egan again. Egan underneath. They try to work it out. Centering pass. Peters has it. Too many skates in front of bouncing puck and another call here. The net is off. Barely. The net just barely popped off. And you got so many guys crashing the net there. The net gets dislodged more and more easily. 125 to go on the man advantage. A 6-3 hockey game here. Gamecox trying to slap something together here in the final 208. <coughs> Hawkinson lets that one go. Egan shot off a skate up into the uh, netting there. And again, more face-offs. Egan with an assist last night, still looking for his first point of the game. May have gotten an assist earlier on on that Rudman goal, now that I think about it, yeah. Rodan Egan had that assist there on the goal that made it 3-3. That seems very long ago. Gagne keeps it away from Murray. Underneath it comes, Brzezinski. They'll battle with it. Hawkinson comes in to join him. Final minute 10 on the man advantage. They'll reverse this one around. It pops off into the slot area. And it's all state bodied there. Nick Pizzo out of nowhere. They'll lift his stick and send this one all the way back down. Wide of the empty net. Peter's got to hurry here. Tisdale sees this one go past him. Soar around. Pokes it away from Tisdale. Peters. Rudman wants it at center ice. Peters going to bring it ahead himself. Nick Peters brings this one out wide. Lowers the shoulder, goes around. That center ice pass cut off. We'll move it back out to Brian Soar. Soar lets one go, tipped in front, up into the netting. Another face off here. 35 to go on the man advantage, a minute 18 here in period number three. Last game here before the SEC tournament next week in Nashville. Trial run in Auburn, and then two more warm-up preparation games, whatever you want to call them. Gamecocks answering the bell a bit more here in game number two. Better than their performance in game number one. They got to hope that they uh, really bring it here in the tournament. Less than a week from Nashville. As they bring it back, final minute here, and Rudman gets dropped at open ice there. Big hit by Gagne. Gagne. Swatted down there by Oakley. Oakley drags it through into the corner. And now Powderly gets in after it. Got to be careful here, Dylan. One thing the South Carolina has to do is keep their composure, cannot take any ejections in the final minute before the SEC tournament. More guys go down. It's already questionable as if we're going to see Zach Lynch in Nashville. Can't afford any suspensions here. Jake Tenji lets this one go for Hickman. Hickman the shot. Tipped in front. It pops all the way up in the air. And Jake Tenji is going to play this one down with his glove. 33 to go. Centering pass, Rudman fanned on it. They'll get this one out as far as Duncan Hickman at center. Hickman 
Sends it around, D to D. They regroup, Jake Tenji moves his on for Powderly. Powderly drops it to the top of the circle for Rudman. A chance there, tipped in front, that puck sat right in that blue paint. And now again, that shot deflected by Tyler Oakley. And we will have what will most likely be the last stoppage of the game here with 15.1 to go in the period. We will look into the injuries sustained tonight as soon as this game is over. See who's gonna be at what level of health coming up. We already know Colin Anderson will not play in the tournament with that hairline fracture in his shoulder, neither will Zach Weeks. The fracture in his finger. As this one winds down here, buzzer sounds, third period over. A brilliant comeback in the second resulted heartbreak in the third. The Gamecocks fall here six to three for the Kennesaw State Owls. Luke Thurston win number 14 on the season for the Owls. And we will send you to a break. When we come back, a brief post-game recap. We'll tie the loose ends up here on the Capital City Sports Network presented by SGTV. All right, welcome back. It is post-game recap time here on the Capital City Sports Network. Dylan Clark, Zach McKinstry for the last time here tonight. The Gamecocks putting up a better fight here against Kennesaw State, the second leg of a back-to-back, -back, but they fall 6-3, to three, and they kind of unraveled there in the third period. Yeah, a couple unlucky breaks when you have a defender falling on an odd man rush and uh, led to an open chance for Kennesaw State, and then quickly with the second goal right after that to make it 5-3. 
Uh, just an unfortunate break for South Carolina, but I do respect the fight in this team that we saw in the second period. Luke Thurston, not the best period he's ever had in the second period, but he came out strong in the third period, stopping his team to his 14th win of the season. They will roll on their next game for Kennesaw State, February the 15th against Clemson. And as we said, the Gamecocks next game, February the 8th in Nashville. That'll be a 4.30 p.m. start time against Auburn. And we will see about the health of Zach Lynch. We'll see if Kyle Gratzky will be the man in net for South Carolina that night. We'll see if Bobby Van Dusen will be back. We'll see a lot of injuries up in the air. Tyler Oakley, he should be okay. He finished off that game for South Carolina. And again, the knee of Jake Tenji always up in the air. Initially, Jake Tenji was not going to play this game, but uh, after last night's loss, Tenji uh, certainly wanted to get into the fray himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of injuries, uh, a lot of time. You got a week to rest, get ready for uh, the tournament there. Uh, they're in Nashville, and, and hopefully they'll all be rested up and ready to go. On the positive side, the Gamecocks will have Bobby Van Dusen and Ben Smith back for those games in Nashville. And the power play was clicking there in that second period. It's a few spots of brightness here in this 6-3 loss for South Carolina. But that'll do it for us here on the Capital City Sports Network. For all of us, for Zach McKinstry, I'm Dylan Clark. Thank you for joining us. Good night, Carolina, and forever to thee. You are watching the Capital City Sports Network on SGTV.